All right, guys. Welcome back. We took a week off. We're back. Happy holidays, everybody. Hope you had a good one. We're live here at 7801 Westheimer Prime Social with our 5-5 live cash game. Alex will be joining me shortly. Starting off with some heat, Charles with Queens already. Pretty bad fight for Charles, though. King high. Guys, if you if you are on the chat and can hear me, send me a message. Let me know things are working correctly. A little short-handed right now, but things will pick up here in a minute. We'll get a full table going soon. There's a few regulars on the table tonight. We got Robert. He's played on the stream before. Suzanne was on the stream before. Suzanne was the winner of our Poker Bros Bahama giveaway, or Panama giveaway. Congratulations to Suzanne. She'll be going to Panama in February. Thanks, Nash. I appreciate that. Nash said that he can hear us. That means we're good. Suzanne raises with nine seven suited. Where's Reese? It's Reese's favorite hand. Three to the flop. Ace, ace, deuce on the flop. No help to anybody. Dom checks. Suzanne's going to bet. A little C bet here. He's going to take the pot down. John is on the list. We'll see if he makes it. Two new players coming to the table. Margaret, how much you play? What, what is Bob Hunter Metal? 2K max. Margaret and Jonathan, welcome to the table, guys. Pause it for a little maintenance here, guys, on the table. We got to get the new stacks in for the 
action tracker to make sure all the numbers are correct. There we go. Heads up to the flop, down with pocket sixes, Robert with king six suited. Flop, comes a king in the window. Guys, we are in full effect back here, and for those of you who have been here before, you know what that means. The shot cam is up and running again, so if you're at home hanging out listening to us, pour yourself a drink, pour yourself a shot, and get ready to have some fun. My man Alex Optional will be joining me here shortly. Or if you're close, come on down. Come on down to 7801 Westheimer. Happy hour is in effect for another hour and ten minutes. Drink specials on domestic beer. Three dollar well drinks. My favorite, the Long Island iced tea for three dollars. We're running a one-two. A 1-3 Omaha cash game and a 1-2-5 PLO game tonight. With, as well as long as well with this 5-5 five, five live, 5-5 five, five no limit. Four to the flop, king high on the flop. Suzanne flops open-ended. Andrew flops a gutter. Lucas turns a sh turns a flush draw. Twenty Everybody misses here. Lucas's ace is going to take the pot down. He's got the check mark. He's going to go check, check. Lucas is going to win the pot with his ace. Tom here with pocket jacks. Tom raises a 20. Three to the flop. Margaret hanging around in there with 9-5 off suit. 
Lucas hits his ace. Bad news for Jax. 30. Don bets 30. Luke's calls 30. Raul, thank you, buddy. Happy New Year's to you, too. Happy holidays. Hope you had a good Christmas. Oh, there we are. There we are. Hey, guys. <laughs> and we disappeared. I didn't mean to do that just yet. I was trying to. There he is. Up. What's up, buddy? Oh, hello. <laughs> How are we doing, folks? I mean, let's throw that back up there. Let's do it. Let's take these Welcome shots. Chat. Alex. She's Cheers. My name. Cheers. Cheers, guys. You wait. Wait. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> What is this? What? Oh, is this Vegas ball? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. Getting it started. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. The holiday season. <laughs> so excited. So excited. This game, <clears throat> I will admit... Started off a little slow, but let me tell you, it picked up pretty quickly. Oh, I'm yeah? excited. <laughs> I am excited. And you should be too. Let's go, Marg. I love Margs. Good old Marg. Garitas. I love Margaret too. She's awesome. You could probably Drag get somebody. You probably get a three dollar margarita too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here at Prime Social. Prime at Social. 7801 West Home Road. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's where we're at. That's where we are. <laughs> this is like a completely new list of players today. It's kind of crazy. I mean, we have like our regulars. Yeah. And Suzanne's been on a lot of the tournament streams, but I don't... Like, she's maybe played one or two one cast or two streams. Cash, yeah. Roberts. But Roberts she's here. Roberts, here. Roberts, like, one of the the OGs that's here. But really, everyone else is is new. Andrew, I'm excited to watch Andrew play. I played with him the other day, and then we had a nice little chat after. Like, we both kind of stood up and left at the same time and ended up just chatting and, you know, had a drink at the bar. Do you know we have, like, a sick bar here at Prime? We do. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Nice vibe. Good good hangs, you know? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> good drinks. We went and uh, chat for a while. He's a, he's a chill dude. There excited be, to have him on. There might be on. some uh, better things coming for the bar, maybe. Oh, yeah? Possibly. Yeah. We'll see. In the works. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't. I mean, he's just winking at me back here. I don't. I don't know what to make of it. I'm a little scared. No, you shouldn't be. It's a good thing. Oh, good. Well, this could be a big hand right here. Lucas raises the ace king. Yes. Jonathan with king queen. Suzanne with oh man, ace eight. It's gonna be train wreck. I played with Lucas the other day too, and he. <laughs> he he's not easy to play against. So it should be interesting to watch him. Maneuver today. Ooh. Jonathan. Making the toppest pair here. The toppest. <laughs> Did you tell them about our our uh, conversations before the stream? And how you expect the night to go? No. I no? Okay. I was just curious. Not. I was going to see how it went. I figured anyway. you'd be talking shit. No. Nope. You know? No. Nope. I don't talk shit about people unless they're there. Well, I was sort of here. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, uh, he leads for 50. Ace King going nowhere. Looks like it's going to go check check here on the turn. And Jonathan feeling pretty good with top pair on the driest board. As he should. As he should. Eh, it's not too dry. There's a flush roll in the end. Flush oh, it is. There. Yeah. Wait. I don't know why I thought there wasn't. Oh, okay. My apologies. I looked at it and saw not a flush draw. 
Which is why I'm losing the flush got this month. If he had a flush, but he did not have a flush. But it was oh there. It's not, it wasn't. It wasn't the driest of dry boards. Yeah, yeah. There was some, Ryan has 100 percent VPIP. He didn't even play a hand. It's kind of he, impressive. He hadn't even been at the table yet. I know. I don't know how that. Happened. He's not coming either. He he decided to stay at PLO. You know what that means? Uh, it probably means he's like stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But we have uh, Adam coming in here, and he'll be good for the good for the stream for sure. Good. Is he the one that blows it up? Yo, well, no, 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 not him specifically. Everybody kind of, you know, it takes people a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It seems like once they can match the stack, people start loosening up. A yeah, for bit, sure. Throwing money around. Get it. Once you get a couple stacks, a couple people getting stacked for like the smaller amounts, people reload. Start moving chips around a wee bit more. Andrew, I'm going to open it up to 15 here with the Jacks. Ooh, I like the call here with the 8-6. I do, too. And the deuces. Ooh, oh, she's three raising bits. it up. Okay. She said, I got a pair. Ain't nobody got pairs. Oh, turns out everybody has pairs. Yeah, Luke is working on that V-pip. Calling with his 8-6 suited. Uh, Adam, okay, oh, this is the hand that I missed, Adam. This is Adam's first hand, and I thought he was sitting out for this hand. So, we are not going to know what he has, and uh, he's not officially part of this pot, even though he has <laughs> cards. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I decided it wasn't worth going back through all the action to try and add him back in. Because I don't know what I'm doing. That was, pretty. Sets. That was pretty. No sets, thank you. Yeah. Oh, but the flush draw for the Lucas. Flush draw is there. Check. Lucas, Lucas. Check. Check. Are you saying I should sing more? No, I just said <laughs> that was pretty. <laughs> that was so fast. You were very quick to <laughs> shut that down. I'm witty. Pocket deuces. Pot Margaret making a move with her deuces here. Bet's 90. Gets everybody to fold back to Lucas with his flush draw. Lucas makes the call. Lucas makes his flush. That's a nine oh, of hearts on the turn. There. Margaret fades the set. Luckily for her. Lucas fires 175 into the pot with his flush. Margaret folds. Nice little pot for Lucas with his 8 6 suited. Working on that V pit. Wins the pot. Uh, oh, let me, oh, no. let me see your card. Let me see your card. Uh, uh, A-F-S-H-I-N. Why do you want to be called? He said whatever. whatever. you want to call. That's fine. He said whatever. So we're calling whatever. Everybody calls me Adam because they don't know. All right, let's use Adam. Adam. Is he coming in? Bye, Steve. He was like, I just got here. I'm like, bro, you've been. You did all the things. He he did all the setup for us. Stop it. Put put it away. We're. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> We're we're busy right now. So am I. No, no text conversations allowed. <laughs> calling me out? Yeah, of course I am. Calling someone else out too. They might be. They might be listening. I know. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. We'll see if she is or not. Yeah, oh, she I better, gave it away. Yeah. She better stop texting Damn. too. No, definitely don't. You stop. listen to me, she. All yeah, right. Definitely don't stop. <laughs> Majestic in the box. You know, we talk about his hair color being majestic. We'll find out in 30 minutes. But also, like, he's really good. It's just him. Really good in the box 
as a dealer in general, but also for our live stream purposes, he does so freaking good. Like, I was just action tracking with him the whole time. Yeah, he's good. Just, I'm not just, saying everybody else isn't, but he's I am. He's good. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. There's, I mean, that there's, obvi- there's obviously Alex, levels. That was Alex? There's levels to it. you know. I never said it was you. Calling him out? Calling him out? Oh. 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 <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, that worked well, actually. <laughs> so, do you ever take a pre-workout? No. Have you ever worked out in your life? No. Oh, good. Good talk. I really haven't. What'd she say about me? Uh, she hasn't checked in yet. Oh, okay. She hasn't <laughs> Dang it. Oh, yeah. Jonathan with Ace Queen, Suzanne with the Pocket Fives, Margaret blocking. Okay. That's about it. Ace Queen. I think Jonathan just flat this pre, it seems like, if I remember correctly. Suzanne going to continue here with the Pocket Fives. And Jonathan with the nut flush draw in two overcards. Mm-hmm. Pretty good spot for him. Okay. Neither player is super deep here. It's about 600 effective. Did you mention the flush draw already? Am I behind? <sighs> Maybe if you were <laughs> off your f- in the phone, oh, stop. Row, stop. you would know. Mm. You would understand. So. <coughs> I can multitask. Suzanne, clearly you can't. Oh, yeah. Uh, making the call here with the pocket fives. A non believer. She's currently ahead. Uh, as in, if neither player improves, she's good. <laughs> Is that but, what a head means? <laughs> well, I said that because she actually only had 47% equity. <laughs> because Jonathan has so many outs here. And hit uh, one. Speaking of which, the ace is going to be an all in for. Uh, it's not 295. It's 320. 320 is about. She's on cutting out the chips here. It's not a huge bat for her to call here. And if she believes that Jonathan's on only the flush draw, then uh, she still might be good. And she also does have outs. Suzanne did pick up the gut shot. The wheel. Draw. Wheel. The wheel draw. Whip. Cool whip. <laughs> a, a classic of our generation. <laughs> Santiago says, what's up? All the way from... Oh, Gabriel. Gabriel greets you from Argentina, nice. bro. We're international. Very nice. Okay, so here... Oh, cool. Leave me hanging. Sorry, That's bro. That's fine. Uh, okay. I, I didn't hit the run it twice button, so they ran it twice. Okay. Uh, but the graphic's not going to show it. So Jonathan's going to lock up the top board. I need to another one. Hell yeah, you burn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luke said, yeah, I do. <laughs> he only asked that because I told him to pause for a sec. But it is a queen of clubs on the river, and Jonathan's going to scoop it. Taking it all down. Nice pot for Jonathan there. So we have a request. Here we go. Oh, wait, real quick. Back to the Gabriel comment. Yes. Because uh, Gabe's one of the players that plays here all the time. Okay. And he's in Argentina right now. That's awesome. He went. He went back home. That's also awesome, For buddy. the holidays, we had a little chat the other day. What part it's, of Argentina? It's kind of funny. He, uh, I actually have no idea. But he, like, uh, doesn't speak very good English, so we're, we're, like, literally using Google Translate to chat at the table. Yeah. Cool. He's an awesome dude. He's yeah, a really he's cool. good player, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Really good player. Yeah, I know who he is. Okay, okay. Well, if you can hear me, what part of Argentina? I don't know if you can. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if... How do you Wait, s- hang on. How do you say where is it? Donde? Donde? Donde es eh, Argentina? Donde es? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Wait, here. Google Translate. English to Spanish. What part of Argentina? En parte de Argentina. Was that loud enough? Let me try again. I don't know. With- there we go. It like slowed down the <laughs> second did. time we did it. That was kind of cool. <laughs> it did. Uh, so the request was we have to do another shot on shot cam. Ugh. Later. I gotta pace myself. <laughs> uh, I drank too much last night. Argentina. Or Why did I drink Argentina. the night before stream? Uh, I knew. 
Alex is in a bad mood today, guys. I'm not in a bad mood. We're gonna have to. We deal had with technical it. difficulties, and I went into God mode to figure it out because I had to, and I uh, did, and it looks amazing. And I didn't even know what the issue was because I'm so good at my job, except for the light. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even mention that because everybody, everybody always says it. Everyone always uh, says it, and I just don't want to, you know, fuel any flames. Patagonia. Oh, yeah. South of the American continent. I know where that's at. I've been there. In Argentina. Yeah. Boom, baby, all in. Boom, baby, all in announced. Uh, Jack on the River. Oh, wow. Two pair for Margaret. Two pair. <laughs> She's not lying. Gets the call. <laughs> I love how nonchalant. <laughs> too fair, too fair. <laughs> Jonathan had. <laughs> Jonathan had the call at the top pair. That's funny. The runner, runner. Full table. Yo, yeah, we got there. Does Susan really have sixty dollars in chips? Yeah, she hasn't reloaded yet. She will shortly. She had to figure out <laughs> financials. She was the winner of our uh, Poker Bro giveaway. Yeah. yeah, I mentioned that earlier. Has that happened yet? No, it's February. February, yeah. February, yeah. yeah it's pretty sick. Free, free all expense paid trip to Panama. Are you Is kidding me? Seeing a free all expenses tri trip paid, paid trip, all expenses paid trip, uh, repetitive. It is when you try to say it three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a funnier joke had I not <laughs> sucked at talking. <laughs> I'm pretty good at sucking at talking, though. <laughs> Greetings, guys, here with my family. Nice. Wait, maybe that's him. That might be him. Who else would it be? Well, I, I don't know why, but when I saw Santiago Fuentes, I just, like, thought it was, like, a friend of his that's, like, next to him. It could be. I don't think it is now, but since I am here with my family. <laughs> Maybe it's his brother. Potentially. There that was go. probably way too loud. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, good job. I'm going to go ahead and call out the uh, the left side of the table here. They're a little quiet. Just saying. The left side of the table? The left side of the table, yeah. Okay. They're a little quiet. I'm calling them out. Gotta bump them V pips up, boys. <laughs> Pitter patter. <laughs> Pitter patter, get at her. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta say it right. What? <laughs> Did I not say it right? No. Oh, shit. <sighs> it's pretty devastating, actually. I gotta deal with this all fucking night. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I mean, if you were better at your job, then, mm. you know. Thank you. I wouldn't have any issues. Still a rookie, man. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's let's get at her. Oh, let's get at her. It just flows a little better. Oh, Pitter okay. patter, let's get at her. Uh, oh. It literally didn't need to be said, but I'm an asshole. Yeah, true. Yo, yeah. Don't I know? <laughs> yeah, you do. They're getting the financials figured out there. The old digital money transfer. What a, what a, what a, I need to start doing What that. a world we live in. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. You know how it feels like I always, like, forget that I have money on those apps. And then I go back and look at them. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> it's a great feeling. $1,800. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Lucas with Ace King. He's going to make a raise here with his big slick. Pretty dry board here. Lucas raises 55. No, sorry, Charles bets 55. Charles makes the bet. And he's going to take it down. Nice, nice, bet. nice bet. That's a good little bluff. Thank you. 
Well, I'm going to do this request and go get shots. Okay. Bring a lot of water. I took pre-workout earlier and I'm still like... I'm still struggling at life. I didn't know we could buy you shots next time I got you. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, whenever you're ready, Margaret. We're about to grab some more, actually. I don't know if you heard that. But we're definitely drinking. You can even come in here and uh, take a shot with us if you'd like. Yo, yeah. We love free shots. Yes, we do. Ace King for Adam here. He's going to make it 20. Over a couple limps. It's an interesting table. I know it's like very different from our normal tables. Ooh, Andrew with Ace Queen here. He's making it 120 to go from the small blind. Announced 2,000 effective. Adam going to make the call. I'm going to go to a flop. Ace King versus Ace Queen. Andrew is dominated. Oh, not anymore. Flop stop pair. No hearts for either player. Andrew going to check here. Bet coming in from Adam. $250. I think for me, if I were in Andrew's spot, I'm probably raising here. Especially without a heart in my hands. Because um, we can get value. Hey, look at us thinking the same. He's going to raise it up. Make it 625 to go. And a pretty quick call there from Adam, a non-believer with his overpair, over cards, pardon. No help to either player. I take that back. It's actually helped to Andrew. It's a very dry turn card. And he's just going to ship it in here. Twelve hundred and twenty-five is the bet. Do you mind putting your keys in your merch? <laughs> All right, Adam's gonna let it go. Nice big pot, headed Andrew's way. And that's why people hate Ace King, you know. All right, Jonathan's going to raise it up here with a 6-5 of clubs. And everyone, and also their mother, 
is going to call. <laughs> Margaret. How do I fold? Get that out of the way for a sec. Seven players to the flop. Lots of suited combos. A couple dominating flush combos. And Margaret with two pair here. She's looking at her chips. Oh, going all in. 280 in the pot. She's going to ship it for what looks like about 500. I kind of don't hate this. There's seven people in the pot. You might as well just just go. And it looks like she's taking it down. Show them the two pair again. <laughs> That's funny. It's actually the same amount. Oh yeah, we're back. Danny is claiming that these shots are different amounts. But I think they're the same. Because if you look at the bottom... Look, show it up here. Look at it. The bottom of my glass is wider than the bottom of his glass. Oh, jeez. Right? Like, if I put it in front, my glass completely covers yours. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> hey, look, we got two glasses right here. You want to try? No. Oh. <coughs> no, those aren't the same glass. Wait, these that are the same is. glass, though. Either so you can... Either. Here, wait, science experiment. We're, we're using the, the same glasses. This well, one's proof to him that there's more in this. Nope. <laughs> you want to put money on it? Wait, is it like a 40? Yes. Apparently not. <laughs> ah, you <Yes>. win. <laughs> you win. All right, fair point. Whatever. <laughs> All right, cheers, shot cam. Cheers, mate. Hup, 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 hup. Cheers, cheers. What is she, oh my god, about? What happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I missed it. My Ann, what is for real? Oh, well, we should take care of that. Probably that. Yeah. No, she's not on the same platform, so she wouldn't have seen that. Oh, okay. Oh, I think she was saying that because I told her she could come in here and take yeah. shots with us. Oh, nice. <clears throat> on the camera. Andrew with a Broadway. Greetings draw. to Danny. Thank you, Santiago. Greetings to you too, buddy. That one can. See? Who Robert. <laughs> Bottom pair and backdoor diamonds. What did I miss? Uh, not a lot. They went seven ways to a flop, and Margaret flopped two pair and oh. took it down. Wow. Well, this, is a, this is a hefty pot here. It was three bet pre. <laughs> I don't remember exactly to what. <laughs> yeah, if you went to 150 pre. Andrew oh, Robert hits two pair. Andrew hits a straight. And it, Andrew hits a straight. That's so nasty. Bet of 110 on the flop, which is a very small bet. Robert's going to check it. Reaching for them black chips. Wow, Andrew with a big bet. A little bit over pot size, just barely. And Robert just hating life here. <laughs> you know, it feels good, but also it doesn't. I mean, it's not too hard to see that, you know. Any queen. You would think, but I've seen some... Not Robert specifically, but some players just don't. They still won't fold. I used to be that way, actually, and I, I had to, like, train myself. Four liners, just fold. Just fold your two pairs in sets. <laughs> it's too easy. My and, yeah, we were arguing. We like to have fun. Uh, I, w I was right, by the way. Just saying. 
No. Totally. There were, he he added liquid as he poured somehow. I don't I don't I haven't proven it yet, but I have camera footage all figured <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, you do have camera footage. <laughs> Robert oh. calls the hand. See if you can trust. But I himself. think you said, "I don't think you do that with Ace Queen." Is what I thought he said. I'm not 100 yeah, percent sure. I think that. you're right. He folds. That's good fold, Robert. Very nice fold. Talk himself into it. That was a big bit there. I guess he's trying to get rid of the flush draw there. There yeah. was a flush draw. And they're just really deep. Like, in deep stack poker, like, a pot size bet is actually not not that huge on the turn. Um, you, you know, because he's going to be setting up for river jams a lot of the time. I don't remember exactly what they had behind, but uh, even with, like, flush draws and stuff like that, he wants to set up for river jams. To make it look like, you know, he has value. Even if he doesn't quite have it yet. I didn't see what happened. He should have a bluff. He's three. Awesome. <laughs> oh man, I flopped three for a card. You did? Yeah. I missed that hand. What are they talking about? Do you remember that? No. It's probably because you were texting. No. <laughs> probably because I was ordering your drink, you dick. No, that was earlier whenever I wasn't here. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Like a 4-3 and a 3-deuce bluff? I don't you remember don't that one. Well. Okay. Charles hits a 10. Margaret with a wheel draw. A wheel draw. A wheel. You got a kind of hockaloogie as you say it. Like a yeah, wheel, wheel draw. <laughs> oh, she folded. I'm one ended. One, uh, one ended. One ended. <laughs> I like that actually. <laughs> one ended. Since it's like technically like if she was a four liner. She's one ended. You guys want to do auto ten? Oh, I'm down with that. I'm good with that. They're about to leave. Whatever. We have a, a request for an auto ten dollar straddle. Auto 10? <laughs> but I think it was shut down. Wait. All you have to do is wait for one person to say no. Are you judging me? Yes, very much so. Can they... <coughs> can they see? I can see, look at that. This is what he's judging me about. Mine? This is my glass. This is. is. We got him at the I same time. I said earlier. I said earlier. Oh. Chris Cooper, 5-5 five five Hold'em wow, in Houston. Oh, know. yeah. Live stream every Wednesday night. Starting at 7 p.m. Yeah. We go live streaming at 7.30. Game starts at 7. 500 men, 2,000 max buy-in for the first hour, and then you match stack after. This guy knows his stuff. Come on down, Chris. Jump in. See what you got. Do we know starting counts players sat down with? So the, every once in a while, it will come up with a cumulative winnings tab, and it will show what they're up and down and what they're sitting at currently. So I, <coughs> I, you, if you asked one specific player, I might be able to tell you, just because I might remember, but I couldn't tell you all of them. And if you ask, I might not know the one. So Dennis Jr., what's up, man? Prime time. Andrew sat with 2K, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think he sat with 2. It looks like he's sitting on... Looks about like 35 or so. Or so, approximately. Give or take. Jonathan heading out to go play PLO, I'm sure. He's uh, 
One of our PLO regs. This PLO game here is quite sick. Not gonna lie. The what? The PLO game. Oh yeah, it's juicy. Yo yeah. Absolutely. We got 26 of you hanging out. Thank you all very much for being here. We do appreciate it. Give us a shout out. Let us know what you guys think. Lucas raising it up here with the Ace-10 offsuits. Adam and Suzanne coming along. Adam got one of my favorite hands oh, of Oh, Adam. Baby. Adam hits everything. Look at that flop. <laughs> Lucas with uh, open ender as well. Suzanne with two pair. Everybody Oh, hit. my goodness. I didn't even see <laughs> that part. Everybody hit it, dude. Adam going to uh, – I'm sorry. Lucas going to bet here for 50. That's a, that's a nasty check by Adam. I like it. And he's we'll see if he nope, he's gonna check raise. Reaching for big Thanks. chips. Oh, smooth call. Two hundred, sick right there. And twenty-five. I really do like the smooth call because you know what? What is he scared of? Yeah, but yeah, you can only get better. But maybe he's you know they're they're sitting a thousand deep. He wants to get them chips in. It's kind of a crappy spot for Lucas. Um, he's open-ended, but he has no diamond, and that is uh, <laughs> not fun. <laughs> he just said, okay, let's He go. is going to call, though. Oh, we got the ghost effect. Yeah, it'll fix in just a second here. Not sure if she's on calls or not. She's thinking about it, looks like. And I was in Austin. There were three guys that were playing in the tournament that they had a It'll fix shortly, I promise. Oh, she folds bottom two there. Wow, that's wow. a really good fold. That's a hard fold there. Adam makes his flush. But she almost, he almost doesn't want to. You know? Not yet. <laughs> he does check. Lucas, I can't imagine, bets here. He does check. Looks like Margaret's going to head out too. GG's Margaret, thank you for playing. Oh, that oh, that's could be nasty. bad. Oh, that's so dirty. going to grab. Maybe not now. Like, if Adam would have checked again, that might have spelled a disaster for Adam. Or for Lucas. Not a small bet either. Coming in with a bet. Four bet. Four hundred. He's got him ready to fold there in his hand. That doesn't mean a whole <laughs> lot sometimes. <laughs> Come back, Margaret. We'll see you next week. He does let it go. Good lay down, Lucas. Nice yeah, that's a good lay down. Box. We got two seats open. Come fill it up. You give me hell. Uh, I'm working. Oh, are you? Is that, is that what happens? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Andrew raises with Jack Eight suited. Suzanne calls. Adam calls. How did you get? So close. Three to the flop. 
free play. Ooh. No one? Adam hits a seven. Oh. Sometimes it's really hard to see what... <laughs> like, it is. Like, it I is. don't think anybody hit anything. Oh, there's a pair. It is It is hard to see them all at the same time. Especially with PLO. Oh, yeah. PLO is another... A whole different beast. We're going we're gonna to get a PLO stream up here one time. Oh, that'd be, that'd be brutal. That's going to be great. Doesn't even matter what the cards are. <laughs> that'd be so brutal. <laughs> I did a... I remember doing a commentary on a... It was a PLO tournament final table and Herman was on the table and he made this really sick play and then got absolutely screwed by the river he had like he had pocket tens and was like he like led turn to bluff this like straight that hit on the turn essentially because he had the blockers for it and then he ends up rivering a 10 which completely counterfeits his bluff and means nothing for his uh, like, he hits a set, but it doesn't matter because it's not a good enough hand. And I did all the commentary on it, and, like, three days later, Herman comes up. Because I said all that, and Herman goes, dude, you were literally in my head. Exactly, like, minute for minute, word for word, like, what I was thinking in my head for that hand. And I'm so glad you were in the box because no one else would have known what I was, like, thinking or doing. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, it makes a lot of sense what he did there. He just got screwed by the river. It's like a two-outer to not take it down with a bluff, you know. It's a pretty, pretty sick spot. <laughs> just toot my own horn a little bit there, you know. All right, yeah, I got it. I just yeah. let you go, you know. Just let you go ahead and do it. As if you had a choice. <laughs> Where is Herman? I miss that dude. Get in here, Herman. That was a cool little uh, trick Joe did there, but he, the cards went to the wrong person. They went to the exact right spot. They were just flipped. All right, good time. <laughs> I think we need to make our uh, our Christmas Eve dinner that we did. We need to make that a regular thing. Like once a month or so. Once a month. Is that is that too much for you? That's expensive. <laughs> you can't budget out a hundred bucks a month. No. All right. Yeah. All right, once every uh, month. Quarter, maybe? <laughs> All right, that's fine. We can do that. Once a quarter? Once a quarter works. A little chamagoucha? Chamagoucha? Oh, it was it. good, though. It was really good. Oh. And our boy JP can put down some food. <laughs> yeah, he did. Goodness can. alive. I loved it. <laughs> so we went to a Brazilian steakhouse. And you know, if you don't know the concept... They just bring meat around at the table and cut cut you off a piece of whatever there is <laughs> if you want it, and you can request whatever you want, and and you have the puck, you ha yeah you can you can turn it on or turn off whether you off. want yeah. yeah, but I just thought it was funny JP every time someone would come around he'd be like beef rib please yeah uh, can we get some beef rib please beef rib like like five shop. people in a row or yeah, yeah yeah like he one did. of them eventually will bring us beef rib he knew what he <laughs> and wanted. it worked it worked well. My and how do you re how do you rewind the stream? Can you uh, so you can't YouTube. rewind on Facebook. On YouTube, you can rewind. Uh, Facebook, you will be able to rewind and rewatch it after it's over. Uh, but at the moment, you wouldn't be able to do it on Facebook. If you need to do it right now, you gotta hop over to YouTube, and then you will be able to back it up. Back, back, back it up. <laughs> you know, I asked you for water, and you didn't even bring me one. Oh, I forgot about How the How inconsiderate. I'm sorry. I was too busy getting you shots. Ugh. I'm having, like, stupid heartburn. That's why I'm, like, milking the crap out of this thing. Sure. Ooh. I'm an old man now. Feels bad. Suzanne with a gut shot. Charles with top hair. It kind of looks like she hit it straight, but she didn't. There it goes. Charles with the check mark. Hey, D -Bai. All right, D -Bai. He's going to bet here. I want to see a raise. 
<laughs> That'd be a sick jam. <laughs> She's on folds. Blocking the nuts with her tin. Okay. All right, no problem. Bye. You can make those plays, but you got to know that the the player is capable of folding. And most of the time, in Houston, Texas, that is not the case. <laughs> that is not the case. <laughs> <laughs> There's maybe one guy at this table that I would make that bluff against. I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> okay. Because it might insult some of the yeah, others. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Two. Or insult the guy himself. No. No, just one. No, it's a compliment to the guy itself. For sure. Straddle coming in from Adam here. Robert with a nice King 9 that suited. 45. I get in trouble with King 9 suited. Oh, yeah? You play it too much? I, it's supposed to be a 3-bet a lot of the time. is a 3-bet bluff, and it just hasn't worked out for me recently. Which doesn't mean I should stop 3-bet bluffing it, but that's just been the case. <laughs> Ace-Queen for Adam. Nice hand to see. Ooh, there's a 9. On the straddle. Second pair for Roberts. Two overs coming along. He's got some backdoor opportunities as well. That is one of them. He's now open-ended. Uh-oh. Ooh, Robert with trips. Oh, Adam going to lead out here. Let's see if Robert can make a raise. I wouldn't blame him if he just calls. Which he does. Oh, he did raise. Oh, nice. Very nice. Nice raise. Adam lets it go immediately. I thought Adam's bet was bigger, that's why. Oh. We just did that because of two, right? Um, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Here. I wish I knew which cards were coming out. <coughs> we have a live straddle for 10. Uh, I thought my tipper was good enough. Absolutely. You're in a big blind. Yeah. Throw that back to me, you know. Building them towers over there. Got in the way of the pitch. He had to move them back. <laughs> Do you ask players to move their stacks if you're dealing? I don't either. I just deal with it and then curse them under my breath. Um, you know, after I knock it down three times, they usually move it back for me. <laughs> you just like pitch through it <laughs> with your hand? <laughs> no. It is tight there, it, but it is it, yeah. In, dealing in that, for some reason that table is. It's, it's a like, narrow table. It's not as tight now that we took the yeah. the risers off, but I haven't dealt it since uh, we C4, we did that. It's tight. Getting caught up here with action tracking here. Three player. Uh, Lucas flops the nuts. Oh, wow. Well, the nuts for now, I guess. He's got that ace of spades as well as the blocker. No longer the nuts, but still a real good hand. Dang it, I meant to put Robert's name in as Bobby today. I wanted to do Bobby Jones. We had more camera issues during this hand. See, now these... I didn't see what the numbers were. The percentages added up to 100, and there sh it shouldn't be because there's shop outs. 
It shouldn't have added up to 100 percent. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I know. I'm just saying, like. Yeah. I got you. Maybe that's uh, something they'll fix on the next update. Yeah. I, well, and I also. I kind of I kind of pay attention to that too, just yeah. a little bit because. I kind of like to know that I know what the percentage is to hit a two outer on the river, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or s stuff like that. But um, I've noticed sometimes, too, like it's over 100%. Like I remember one hand we were streaming and the percentages were like 102%. Yeah. Like how does that happen? Or another you're, bad one, at, you're bad at math. No, I, no it was right there. No, An you're, another you're one, a guy, a guy hit quads and he didn't have 100%, and there was no straight flush draw or nothing like that. And we were we were talking about it. I think it was Reese. Me and Reese were talking about it. Like, why isn't that 100%? Are they putting in the possibility that a fifth jack is going to come out? Like, no, nah, you're you're just bad at math. No, man. All right, whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, this guy D doing with this guy. I don't know. This is like oh, the eighth dang. time you brought that up on stream. So I just, huh? What? Oh, nothing. Oh, what's that? What are you looking at? What is that? Looks like drums. Is it drums of whiskey? Nosy. I know. It's because I expect, you know, to have a co-commentator interact with me, and when he doesn't, then oh. I look over there and I'm like... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tom! Man. With a flush draw. <laughs> Adam. Somebody's bitter today, man. <laughs> Somebody text this dude, please. <laughs> Just start a conversation with me. <laughs> That's all I want. Or on stream. That'd be great. You guys are listening. Send a message. Oh. Ace high good. That's good. Three jacks and ace high. I'm about to go sit in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. From the stream to the table. Yeah. Have a brush, please. Table five. Then you'll know what it's like to have a commentator just sit here, like texting Cancel on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let it go. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm just kidding. We're having a grand old time here. We here at Prime Social 78 on one We always have a good time back here. Yo, yeah. Mr. Bretsky. Heads up. That's 25. Two pair. Zon flops two pair here. Oh, takes it down. When is the next series? I need to plan my schedule out. Uh, I don't have that information for you, unfortunately. Yeah, we haven't planned one yet. I should. I, I need to ask Josh, though. We're in the talks. We're in the talks. We got something. Something going, but something I have going. no idea. But we haven't uh, finalized anything yet, guys, so keep checking in. We'll get that available as soon as we solidify something. Something. Probably going to be around the end of February, March. Makes sense. Yes. Makes the most sense. Interesting hand here. Charles with middle pair and Andrew with a gut shot straight draw. Andrew. 
Andrew hits his king. King is going to take the pot. I'm sorry. The king is to take the check mark. <clears throat> and he's going to take the pot. Goes check, check. Doug, 6809, if you're still watching, there's the uh, there's the stacks right now. That'll help you figure out who bought in for what there. Uh, it's a graphic that pops up every every so often. Who's on your first tennis all live throw? Charles reaching for chips. Charles three bets here with his ace five offsuit. Interesting spot. Takes it down. Very nice bet there. Looks like everybody's folding around here. Uh, Andrew calls with his king deuce suited. Lucas along with 10-4 and Suzanne in there with king 10 offsuit. Both Andrew and Suzanne hit a king. Suzanne Beth 30, Andrew makes this call. Both have the king here. Ace on the river, no help for anybody. Meg the V is Andrew a goat or is he lucky and Doug answers that he's the goat hey, he's pretty good he's not bad <laughs> Dom raises with his king nine suited.
I just watched that hand. I apologize for tanking so long. Got some hands. <laughs> got some hands. Yeah. Five, ten, oh, I apologize for my absence. Was that punishment? I was working on logistics. <laughs> oh, okay. Five, ten, uh, logistics of what? Uh, I just wanted to sound important. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. What does that word mean? I did not watch Bolton. Show one. Bolton. Check the option. I like that idea. Three play. Oh, show up. <laughs> I dropped my phone at the gym today. Let's play no watching. Show one. I like that. Let's you dropped it or brought it? Three play. Well, I drop it all the time, but I dropped it to where it broke the case, and I feel like I need to buy a new one. Because it's this corner right here, and I feel like it's going to break the camera. You know? Yeah. That corner right there feels bad. Yeah, totally. Well, yeah, but your camera isn't as obtrusive as mine. It's not a competition, bro. It's just it sounds like it. Mind. Robert hit a flush, <laughs> four liner flush with his eight of clubs here. I think you're the one that needs an attitude adjustment. <laughs> I'm not the one complaining. I'm not. I just said that just showed you mine. You're the one complaining about a little dink in your case. Showed you your what? My yeah. what? Showed me your what? My Nailed phone. It. Got it. My case. Oh. <laughs> did uh did Adam add on? Or did he win a big pot? I'm sorry. The V pip. Don't remember him buying in. So. Okay, good. We have live shot for ten. We're a little short-handed at the moment. Lucas with pocket tens raises the forty. Heads up to the flop, down with his king jack off suit. Charles over there showing off some uh, chip trick skills. <laughs> Andrew with his pocket tens raises. His pocket tens been going around here. Luke's call. Lucas fold. folds. Fold. Looks like. Oh, action tracker catching up here. Three player. Three of the flop. Did Amy just drop this off? Yes, yeah. Is that yours or mine? <laughs> Did you think it was mine? Imagine, I, I, I thought, imagine me ordering one. I thought you were gonna catch up. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, all right. Catch up? What do you mean? I'm, I'm drink for drink so far. <laughs> Until you take a sip of that, I'm drink for drink. Well, it's not a race, but uh, <laughs> catch up, bro. No, we're not trying to do that tonight. No, no, you can't hang. Uh, well, we already tried that the other day. Speaking of, we need to check out that don't bar. Don't touch me. 
<laughs> uh, yes. Which bar? I don't remember what it the was. The Big Easy, man. That's right. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny if I order a Long Island. I still have <laughs> three quarters of my first one, and I order one and not you one. <laughs> I was like, okay. Thank it's all good. I did put it on your tab, though, so. Sweet. Awesome. Just put it on your tab and, and I'll, uh... Yeah, well, I guess you're going to have to play for the bar tab. <laughs> we can do that. Me and you heads up for the bar tab? Why would I play you heads up if I don't have money to pay for the bar tab, bro? Because <laughs> you'll owe me. Uh, after you lose. Rent's coming up. Who? <laughs> Rent. Where is that bar? Bolt? I'm not sure. Let's look it up. Okay. We'll be heads up. He told me. I, I just forgot. Forgot where it was. Ruben? Okay. It's a very interesting flop. A set of sevens would be real bad for Lucas. He turns a flush draw to go with his pair that's currently good. Sevens hold. Oh, oh, Adam here reaching for chips. <laughs> I would be very impressed with this call. I'm not going to lie. It is a big bet. Can he even Pot make, size bet. Can he make that call, though? Like, everything kind of gets there. The straight draw gets there on the river. The flush draw's there on the turn. Two overs to the board. Honestly, the fact that he's thinking about it this long, I'm surprised. But he does let it go. I think he was, I think he was Hollywood in a little bit. Maybe. That was a hell of a move by Adam there, though. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, nicely done. He did. He did. All right, everyone. That's my time. Mariano, coming in. Thank you. <laughs> Mariana hasn't used the headset yet. Why? Why? You were bad and you bet it. That was a flop of chicken. I'll put you in 8 9. Okay. All right, I have 8 9. Wait, still. See, never ask to see a card if you don't like to see it. How late does the stream go? We stop play at 11.30, so the stream will end at 12 with our 30-minute delay. But generally, the game continues. I don't know any night that it's ever ended at that. You know, we'll usually move it to a different table, and the 5-5 keeps going. She's on with a nice hand, ace jack off suits. Huh? <laughs> I'm into it already. <laughs> Charles dominated but suited. <laughs> Dom with the same suits. I don't think Dom's in there. I think Dom folded. So it says he has top pair. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he does have cards. I'll take it back. In there. My apologies. He is in there with his t pair of tens. Suzanne makes a bet with Ace Jack. Dom's going to call. Going heads up to the turn.
<laughs> two Dumb. pair for Dom. Dom turns two pair. So Cut's going to get it done, and he takes it down. Sorry for doubting you, sir. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, Adam must have added on. It says 1.3k there. He's got like 4k in front of him. Yeah, and he tells you to observe people for So I start listening to him and looking at people. Yeah, it's like 35. I'm talking about outside. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out, man. I'm by right now. I didn't see it. <laughs> that was a, we're going to try that one that again. That was a little... Uh, all right, all right. Maybe we're not. Uh, Let's play one up this hand. Everybody throw one card. A little too in. trusting of poker players in that situation, I think. Face up? <laughs> yeah, one card face up. Everyone. Hey, have you ever played that? Uh, I didn't see that one. Oh, before. come on! <laughs> <laughs> this is really bad timing, man. It's not working out. It's horrible timing, I'm sure. Fold. The live strudel coming in. <laughs> oh, Charles with the Rockets. That's, oh no, he didn't get his card before. I was going to say, that's why he said he didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucas and Suzanne coming along. Diamonds. Nobody with them. Ace is betting here. I can't imagine he's. Oh, Lucas coming along. Getting much action. Let me finish that sentence <laughs> as I'm wrong. Heads up to the turn here. King is no help. Having a little think on the button. It's like one of those, he went to go grab chips immediately and it's like, hmm, should I bet this? Maybe, maybe not. He does. Takes it down. I need a Red Bull, buddy. Yeah, you're pretty quiet over there. Yeah. Everyone thought you left. <laughs> we just took two Vegas bombs. What are you? And announcing the yeah, I guess I need more Red yeah. Bull. Yeah. Amy. Or Vegas bombs, one of the two. Shot cam time. Mm, I told you, I got to slow down. <laughs> I'm not doing Vegas bombs anymore either way. Oh, what are you doing? Shots of water. Because I'm a bitch. You okay? <laughs> Yo, yeah. Looks like the nine of clubs is exposed. That'll be the burn card. Out. Robert with the ace three. Sounds so weird when you announce the four. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Adam with some jacks here. That's probably one of my least favorite hands. Shouldn't be. There's a lot of worse hands. Not a whole lot for either player. And I'm grabbing some big chips. 
265. And he's gonna fold. That's gonna do it. I have something for you that I procured out of nowhere. Where did that happen? Thank you. Just mention a Red Bull when it shows up. I like this. Feels good. You want some? So do we go to Big Easy tonight or what? Oh, don't tease me with a good time. Face just lit up. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm down. so I've been talking to Richard, who's played on the stream multiple times. He's the owner of our Bedrock City, yeah, our sponsor, Bedrock <laughs> City Comic Company. <laughs> he used to do like blues nights at Bedrock, at the one here in Westheimer. And he would like, it was just like him and friends, but they would uh, like bring all their instruments up there and just have like a jam session. That's awesome. Yeah, he told me that a while ago, and I was like, you know, I I went and got my drum set from home <laughs> uh, over Thanksgiving, and I've been playing and missing playing in, like, a, a band setting, you know? So I, I told them before uh, Christmas, is like, yo, after the holidays, let's do, like, let's get one of those together. And he was like, yes, I'm down. So I'm pretty excited to... Yeah, it'd be fun. I told him I'd bring my drum set out. He's like, I mean, if you're bringing the kit, like, there will be people there to play. I was like, sweet. Yeah, Love to see it. That would be fun. Might even stream it, I thought about. It'd be kind of cool. Wouldn't be on this channel, but. Andrew with a mystery hand. Not sure what he had there, but he takes the pot down. Yeah, we actually switch out the deck after this hand because of the dead card. Have you been over to Lake Charles? No. You should go sometime. I don't have money to go, man. We'll figure it out. I'm struggling, bro. <laughs> I'm on the grind. You're going to be loaded soon. No way. I don't know why, but it's going to happen. So I have Okay. Not with that attitude, it's not. Would you tell me earlier? You could go it's like not pessimistic. It's pour, realism. <laughs> pour yourself out. Oh yeah, who's who's buying? I don't know. Someone's got like a haggard fetish. <laughs> Thanks, man. <I> appreciate that. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. <laughs> haggard fetish. I keep seeing advertisements for the. They do the. Um, here in, somewhere in Houston does the Yuletide party that they do in uh, Hagrid in Harry Potter. Oh, really? Yeah. That's you know cool. what I'm talking about? No. And they all get dressed up. Oh, like a like a ball. It's like the ball. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. the before the, the Triwizard yes, Tournament. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Somebody does that. I thought it'd be that's, fun to go. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Try to find a suit that matches. No, the, you have Hagrid to get wears. you have to get dress robes. No, where would Hagrid they wear? Wore? Well, Hagrid didn't have dress robes. It, it was like a, okay. a hair suit. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Like a big furry <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. Be baller. What, what character in Harry Potter do I look like? Because I don't really, I don't think there's one that, like, sticks out. Yeah, I think they cut that one out. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, for the movie, you know. Out of every movie ever. <laughs> you would be, like... You would be a Weasley offshoot cousin or something. <laughs> <laughs> of, <who? laughs> of the Weasley family, bro. Oh, Weasley. Okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. With your ginger hair. Yeah. Yeah. I could actually maybe kind of look like, uh, I think it's Bill Weasley, like one of the older brothers in one of the movies. He's got kind of the longer hair. I think he has a beard, too. But he's not He's not in there very much. Like, he's not. I don't know. It's funny, though. Yeah, you would definitely be... 
a Weasley. A Weasley cousin. I look like Victor Crumb. <laughs> as long as I can get Hermione, I really don't care. <laughs> that is like 100% my like childhood crush. That's Ron Weasley, bro. Eventually, yes, you're right. But for the the episode or the seat, the what's the word? Your childhood crush was Hermione. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, in, in I had a childhood uh, crush too, but mine's a little older. Prisoner than of yours. Azkaban. She was so hot, bro. I did for real. Whew. You know who my childhood crush was? It's probably everybody from my generation has the same one. Wait, let me think about it. Raquel Welsh. Who's that? <laughs> it's like way older than your generation. <laughs> I was just being an asshole. Um, I would say it's from a TV show. Oh, Suzanne hits a ten. Charles raises with his ducks here. Suzanne makes the call. Is it from Full House? No, it's not Full House. It wasn't Full House. The Adams family. No. <laughs> you were really into it. There's some people putting a lot of like cosplay of that. The Adams family. Because they just launched a new series uh, oh, called okay. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh yeah, her name is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's that wasn't who it was. It was Topanga from Boy Meets uh, World. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's not outside of my generation. It was before your time. I, I don't think it was. I don't think you could technically say that. I mean, it ran through your time, but yeah. So if it's your not. childhood crush was a Harry Potter movie, like Harry Potter, when did Harry Potter come out? Uh, hmm, I don't know. I'm trying to think of when the first one. I was like the same age as them as they were in the books. So like, if I was eleven, two thousand and one, two. That's what I was thinking. I thought even like 99, 98. 98, but I feel like it's not a 90s movie. Chat, help us out. Or you can just look it up on your phone. No, side. I'm trying to get some interaction, bro. Two thousand and one. You know what's funny is uh, I wasn't allowed to watch Boy Meets World as a kid in my sheltered household. Wow, I didn't realize Boy Meets World is okay. You're you're right. It was before my time. I mean, I grew up in that area, but that's that's still like it's ninety three to two thousand. Boy Meets World. Yeah. I mean, I was alive. I was born in ninety two, so. Yeah, but you it would have been, you yeah. watching TV. Topanga. What a name. Do you think there's a bunch of, like, 90s babies named Topanga? I guess it'd be 2000s babies, right? <laughs> They'd have to be fans of it, like, when they were growing up. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> New player taking a seat. Freaking water's off my table. Poker Florida 904 with Paul. I think that's Paul. I appreciate that. Poker Florida. Yo, yeah. I hardly know her. <laughs> Andrew raising it up here. The ace ten off. It's almost like you can see the hands, you know. <laughs> almost. Okay. Don't put that out there, man. I know. I shouldn't have said that. That's why I said almost. Wow. No, I mean that's a good hand of three bet anyway. I just say that because they're at the bottom of their range, and they're gonna, not going to like calling here with the ace or uh, ace eight. Jackson. Ace eight off suit. Let's see what Charles does here, showing off some of his 
chips chip tricks. Let's see if he makes the call. He folds. You know what you need, Danny? There's a long list of things, but yes, what do you think I need? And more immediate than the, the other long list of things, you just need to stand up for a little bit. Why is that? It'll wake you up a bit. Oh, I'm awake. No. This wasn't going on where they were waiting on to... No, no, I'm not. I wasn't talking either. about that. I'm not, like, roasting. I'm just saying, you know, oh. like, standing is good. I got a notification from my Apple Watch, like, <laughs> it's just time, you know, we've been sitting it's for a while. It's time to stand up. Yeah. All right, I'll indulge you. Yeah, you will. Hang yeah, on, you will. It's take me a minute. Everybody, listen. Everybody, everyone, listen. Why are there hangers everywhere back here on the floor? Oh. There it is. <laughs> nice. That's that's what we were listening for. Yeah, make fun of the old guy. It's okay. You old man. Yeah. Oh, yep. I have a buddy. I won't mention who, but he has to get into his car face first. Because <laughs> because he can't twist his back that way, uh, and for some reason doing it face first, it's so funny watching him get into his car. Poor bastard. One thousand. I don't want to like truly make fun of him, which is why I'm not actually saying his name. But it's like a half-assed, you know, make fun of. Open ender for Sebastian, the newest addition to our table here. Pair of nines for Charles. Is Lucas. Lucas actually still in there? He comes in with his seven dudes. Sebastian now with the best hands. Charles turns a gut shots. Check. And I'm praying. Come on, Lucas. Honestly, I mean, what better turn could you ask for yeah. with seven dudes that you're... Kind of, he kind of what he was looking it. for. Checks around. Lucas to see a free card. Six. Oh, <laughs> I'm a genius. There. I called it. <laughs> Lucas hits his straight on the <laughs> river. What wow. a dream! Let's go. They're not even playing seven deuce as far as I as far as I know. <laughs> That's so sick. Charles making the call. <laughs> Here it comes. Why would you ever bet the river? He's looking at his straight. What do you mean? Of course I'm betting the river. Nice hand, Lucas. Well played, sir. It makes 10 cents. I've never heard that. Like makes tons of sense. Uh, I thought he said it makes 10 no, cents. he said he makes tons of sense. I like that, though. Yeah, awesome. you know, sometimes you, you, like, mishear someone. That happened the other night at uh, at the mixed game table. I don't, I don't think you were there, but you heard it, you heard it after. Because I thought <laughs> Adam... He said something to me, and he called me a ginger, and I thought a ginger. He, I thought he called me a va ginger. He did. No, I was there. No, he didn't actually say it. No, no, no. He eventually, the origination came from a misunderstanding. Yeah. Because he just called me ginger, and I thought he said, "Did you just?" I was like, "Did you just call me va ginger?" And he goes, "No, but I am now." And then he changed your name. And then yeah, that's now my name in that the book rattle that's system. Va ginger over here. Oh, va ginger. Oh yeah. It's a great name. Yeah, I was sitting right next to the guy. Not when it happened, though. Yes, it was. No. I was yes, I was. Yeah, I was there. Okay. I sat down before Adam sat down at that table. You're right. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't even know how the, how it went. I hurt. 
Never you mind. were moving on. <laughs> I think there's some tension between but us. Three. Something's going on. <laughs> is, there, uh, is there a therapist in chat? I don't know. We do a little couples therapy. Shut up. Couples therapy? Yeah. 45. <laughs> uh, action tracker trying to therapize over here. Therapy? Therapize. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Another new player is king for Sebastian. Oh, queens for Robert. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Wait, was this just straight up raised to 155? No, there was no, there was a 45 dollar raise. <laughs> okay, in there somewhere, but I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Robert re re raises. 500 to go. Oh, there's a 45. Oh, it's because he's a new player and he probably isn't an assist. Oh, no, there he is, Jeremy. Look at that. King, Queen, too. That's a nice hand for, uh, for Jeremy, but not anymore after a this is three bet and a four bet. It's a train wreck waiting to happen right here. The snap all in. The and the snap call. Oh, no. No, not no yet. No snap call? Not yet. He said, oh, shit, that's bad news. Oh, yeah, you can watch the stream. In cash game, you can watch the yes, stream. Yes, correct. <laughs> Tournament, you cannot. Makes the call, and we are going to flip Reno, and they actually, so, there's going to be a little discrepancy here. Not discrepancy, but a pause. Because... Okay, so they decided to do two full boards, so we had to back it up. That's going to take a sec. So bear with us here. This is one of the moments that I had to leave earlier. This is like the the debate of the century here. <laughs> See, that's the whole thing is that Houston does flop twice, twice, and everywhere else does two full boards. Yeah, it's funny. We we talked about this, and it seems like, and I'm not trying to call her out, but every time this dis discussion comes up, it seems that she's the, the dealer. <laughs> it's like, dang. It, it's rough. So we had to move the board out of the way, because we have to click a button on, on action tracking. So we moved the board out of the way. But then we got to move the board back. It'll, it'll work itself out here in a sec. Now we're back to normal. Sorry, we're doing two full boards. And Queens win the first board. Queens hold. Just going to push the whole board up, and we're going to do another. Who no does have a Queen of Hearts? Oh, Oh, chop pot. Chop it up. You know, as it should be. They're flipping. Yep. One wins one, one wins the other. It's a big waste of time. Yeah, you know. I mean, they both won. <laughs> they actually won more than that because the 45 wasn't in there initially, I remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, that's right, because you got the blinds no, in that. because usually you make the deal on the flop, so then you... Yeah. 30, 30 and 25 is how much? 87. 55. Right. So what's 45 plus 10? 55. Thanks. Someone else was in the pot. <laughs> no. Yep. The 45 was in the pot and he folded. No. Okay, whatever, bro. Math. 
I'm never wrong. About it. I guess I'm you're never wrong if you don't admit you are, I guess. <laughs> That's definitely not true. <laughs> I'm still just confused as to why the the 45 didn't show up initially. It did. It just but was it, behind. <sighs> Valerie, coming in with a subscription. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Getting word from our action tracker that he's terrible at this job. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you. You're great at your job. <laughs> we got a full table again. <laughs> or wait, almost. Is there one, one seat open still? I don't remember if seat 8 got filled. Adam took off. It is filled. We're going four ways to this flop. Andrew with a pretty hand. Suzanne with a king five. I like it. Top pair for Andrew, second pair for Charles. You know, we were talking about Suzanne winning that Panam Panama, nailed it, Panama, <laughs> Panama, Panama. <laughs> Uh, I forgot we still have that graphic we could throw up there for that series. Oh yeah, does it have the... Do a little advertisement for the... The Poker Bros Panama. Hashtag ad. Happening in February. Ooh, this is an interesting river because... Three aces. Uh, the eight is now top two pair. And you always feel a little bit better. You're like, yeah, they don't have trips. No. That means I can I can call or or lead out for value. It's like a bet of seventy. And Andrew makes the call, obviously. <laughs> Takes it down. Such a weird thing for you to see. <laughs> like, just out of nowhere. Just in my head. I don't know if we should we point it out or not. Uh -huh. Just everybody. Literally every human. <laughs> so this is what we were speaking of. Oh yeah, the Panama. A moment ago, the Panama series. The Sortis Hotel. Poker Bros, two million guaranteed. I can't remember the dates, and it just switched off of it. But it's coming up here shortly, and uh, Suzanne gets to go for free. It's the, it's like there the it is, 15th, 15th through the 26th. 15th through the 26th. We've got a bunch of activities, bowling tournament, other things going on. Main event looks like it starts on February 20th. $1,700 buy-in. 1.2 million guaranteed. Can uh, check that out. So she wins an all expense paid trip to Panama. All she has to do is pay her buy ins for what she wants to play in, right? Or are we well, staking no, her the, in the main? Uh, so part of the package was that she gets to play the main. She gets staked yeah, in the yeah. main as well? That's it was awesome. a $3,500 package. So I think probably the main and a few other tournaments and then travel expenses. That's awesome. Would be my guess. That's awesome. Yeah, so hopefully. Uh, she comes home with a big old bag. There's a full table. There's nine names up there. We're back up to the top. Ahmad joining us. Ahmed. Ahmed. Joining us. With a little 2K stack. Plenty of chips on the table. We do allow button shuttles on the stream, but I don't know if they knew that. They were told not. By who? Steve. Oh, back in the day? At the beginning of the stream? Yeah, I heard him say it. That's I was okay. like, oh, okay. 
If I had heard that while on action track. Oh, were you action tracking during that? No, I heard it when I was. Oh, when you were streaming? Okay. Yeah. So if you're ever on action tracking, you can tell them that that is allowed. We kind of let them do whatever they want on the stream. Just want the players to be happy. Dom, King Jack of Diamonds, raised to 25. What is that squeaky noise? Is that a chair? That's from you. No, it's probably a chair out That's there. It's a yeah. chair. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dang. I just like snap going to. Hey, look, top fault. pair for Charles. Set and a set for Lucas. For Lucas. If we say Suzanne, we have to say Lucas. You get blamed for everything. Yeah, that's my bad. It's always my fault. <laughs> that might be a, like a dealer chair or something. I, the other day I was dealing at table six and someone pointed it out. And, like, once they pointed out, I could not hear it. <laughs> like, every time I move. I was, yeah. like, trying to move as little as possible, but you, you have to move. You have to move. Yeah. yeah, there's a squeaky chair out there somewhere. Oh, no. Maybe Steve grabbed the wrong chair. I like the sound of that. That makes me feel a lot better about my nitty pole. And now you pointed it out, and I can't stop hearing it. Yeah, it's loud. Let me, uh, I'm going to actually go see if that's the chair they have. Chair. I, can, I can switch it out. I'll do that. Flying solo for the moment. Tomar Bazzarini tells Sebastian he has big fans in the chat. All right, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get that message to him. Do you want me to tell him who, or you just want to leave it as big fans? Jeremy with the aces here. Smooth calls the twenty. Oh, there it goes. Little behind here. Action tracker. Little behind. Aces three bet. Check. Charles comes along with his king jack off suit. <laughs> Jeremy bets one twenty five with his aces. That should do it. And Charles folds. Aces take it down. Okay. He wears his sunglasses at night, Meg. <laughs> See if he gets that joke. Doug, make us too young for that joke? Maybe. Did you get it, Doug? Did you get what I was saying?
Sorry, guys. We're back. Jeremy with a bull house there. <laughs> I just want to say that he always wears sunglasses, <laughs> well, even at the other tables. Well, you missed the rest of it. No, scroll, I, scroll up and no, you'll see saw. what I'm talking about. And so I said, "Wow, he, yeah, I saw." But I said he wears his sunglasses at night. That's a joke. You don't get it either. No, I do. Got I it. understand. Meg didn't. So that's why. I was <laughs> so I went out there. <laughs> so I can. You good, buddy? Yeah, yeah. You find something in there? I mean, I found something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you heard the chair squeaking anymore? I went out there and I was like, I don't hear it, but it's also Rika. And she's a little smaller than Daryl, so. <laughs> wow, just call him out. Yeah. No, I, mean, I haven't heard it boy. yet. I haven't heard it anymore. It might have been me back here. I do tend to. You do that, but I don't know that it would have caught that on the 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 mic out there. You know, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? King, queen, jack, nine, pocket. Th Ooh, three in the window. And a couple pairs here. This is a, a juicy flop. Andrew with his top pair leading out for twenty dollars. Sebastian with a smooth call. Dom, also with a smooth call. Pretty dry board. Oh, Koi, what's up, man? Koi J, yeah, threes have been hitting a lot. Rika. Did a little drinking with Rika the other night at the poker table. Oh, yeah? She was killing some time, so she came and played the 1-3. It was fun. Dom on the turn with a check mark. Making a nice check there. Wait, why does he have the check mark? That doesn't make sense. Because he's oh against those cards. Okay, yeah, never mind. Sorry. Um, I hear the squeaking again. I just heard it as well. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's there. I think it may be at like at a, an outer table potentially. All right, he's <coughs> done. Slow playing his set, and this is this is a real tough spot for Andrew. hands that Dom could have. He could have like some combo draws here, so like 6-5 of spades might do the same thing. Maybe ace-king. Maybe ace-king, but the pre-flop Oh, he just folds he immediately. He fold. Wow. He lets it go. It's a good that's fold. A, that's a really good fold. It's a good fold, Andrew. Don't do it, Andrew. He didn't, Doug. Yeah. yeah that, was a, that was a hell of a fold. That was... It was a quick fold. I, like, I think I might have come to the same conclusion, but I don't know if I would have done it so quickly. Tough to full top pair there. But he also, you know, he understands. Let's look at Dom's V-pip right now. He's at the bottom of the board with 26%, which isn't a super low V-pip to, to begin with, but it is the lowest at the table. And uh, I'm sure that Andrew is paying attention to that. Nice fold. Doug, do you know Andrew uh, personally? <coughs> Seems like potentially you do. There's that. I'm hearing it again. I really don't think it's at the table. He does know him. Every once in a while, I think back to what the table used to look like with that stupid LED light shit in there. <laughs> it's just, it's so, like, unassuming now. It's just, like, you just don't even think about it. And it's just the way it should be. It's kind of nice. Two pair for Lucas. Flush draw. For Robert. Going heads up to the turn. Between the aforementioned players. Uh, didn't uh, Dom fold an ace? Yes, he did. Okay. Okay. I don't know what this is. Okay. He hits his flush. 
Goes check, check on the river. He's going to take it down. Poker man, hello. How we doing? Is that emoji? Does that mean howdy? Maybe. I'm going with that. I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan of howdy. <laughs> What's funny is like it's just a general thing in Texas. If someone says howdy, you say howdy back to them. So when I moved here, I had a friend, uh, a friend who uh, he's friends. We're friends now, but we weren't friends at the time. And he just said howdy to me, and I didn't. I said, "Hey, what's up?" And he goes, "You're not from Texas, are you?" And I was like, "No, why?" He's like, "You're supposed to say howdy back." And I said, "Fuck off, bro. I say what I want." <laughs> but now I say howdy all the time. I love it. Four to the flop. Ahmed hits his king. Nothing else really going on in this hand. Bull tide, come on back, buddy. Sebastian, three bets here with his ace queen suited. Let's see what Charles does here. Raise, going up, 250. Oh, wow, he makes a move. Raises to 250. Four bets, 250 with his jack deuce off suit. Sebastian makes the call. Oh man, he hits his queen. Let's see what Charles does here. Sebastian steals it from him. Sebastian steals his action, goes all in. Charles doesn't have a move anymore. Folds his jack deuce. Jacques Dewey. <laughs> he got caught there with his. Those Poker Journey, you're a big Sebastian fan. Big there's, Sebastian. There's a few of them. Somebody in, somebody in chat wanted us to actually tell him that he had fans, big fans. Oh, tell Sebastian. I think it was Sebastian. Scroll Might up. be the same guy. No, it's not. It's not the same guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't tell him. <laughs> Charles with Kings. Going up. 50. Bold. 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 Support our boys. 50. How do you know Sebastian? He's uh, not doing so hot in this hand. <laughs> I saw a nine, little nine peak there. That's actually not good for him <laughs> at the current moment. Say 
He leads into the pocket kings. Makes the call. <coughs> Queen might slow Sebastian down a wee bit, hopefully, okay. for his sake. He does check. E Dub's poker journey. Yeah, this is a this is a spot here. Let's see what uh Charles yeah, does. He bets one thirty. We were on the same frat. I've been on y'all stream a couple times with Sebastian. Nice. That was the that one that you didn't want to do, and then ended up being really nice. It was that stream. Oh, with Reese. It was that group. Yeah. Okay. That group of guys. Kings with the check mark. Charles looking like he's not loving his spot here. Yeah, it's a weird spot. I mean, he. Yeah, when he gets let into the flop. Think, yeah, he had to think he was good, and then the betting progression has him doubting it. Did he really call with a five here? Like, slowed him down at least. I think if I'm in his spot, I'm not really expecting the big blind to have a whole lot of fives. Because most people aren't going to just lead out a five. It's more likely that they would lead out a nine, in my opinion. It's not taking it out completely, but he does go for the big value here. 420. For all you partakers out there. <laughs> And now Sebastian hating life. Look at that fade. It's got a nice fade there. <laughs> Y'all friends of Sebastian, make sure you let him know that I think he has a nice fade. Nine hundred. Oh, he makes the call. See the bad news. Fifteen hundred dollar pot headed Charles way. Charles is his way. We just did LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> they're on it. Oh, yeah, they were already on top of it. E Dubs poker. When are you guys coming back? Yeah, I only to do another stream. Yeah, that was fun. It was a good time. <laughs> Does Daryl always have those earrings in? Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Come on, man. I don't know why it looks... Mr. Swagger himself? Different. I mean, I, I know that, but... Jax. For Ahmed. Under the gun. ASAP as possible. Just calling with the jacks. He didn't like him either. Yeah, I don't like him. Oh, goodness. He might this not like him here. Like him. <laughs> you never know where you're at. Kings. Back to back hands, Kings for Charles. Oh, little Jared Mizuraco in the chat. What's up, baby? That's a hometown friend of mine. Mr. Crust. <laughs> Yes, that's me. Is there a story behind I this? I am Mr. Crust. Okay. There is. Uh, I'm sure. Let's talk about this hand first. <laughs> Andrew coming along for 45. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. Andrew called 45. I'm at 3-bit to 155. Charles is deciding whether or not to raise. Yes. Charles was the one that made it. 45 to begin with. So we're all on the same page. <laughs> You're right. You just can't be wrong. I never said that. <laughs> Pretty sick spot here. J 
Jared, I actually never texted you. I was supposed to go home for Christmas. And uh, he was one of the guys I was going to hang out with. And I forgot to text him and tell him that I'm not coming anymore. Well, I'm glad you didn't. Otherwise, we wouldn't <laughs> be knows. doing this. Yeah. 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 Raising it up. Four's Re getting out of the way. What do you say? 605? 605. And now Jacks are like, shit. I need a brush 05. Brush 05. Yeah, you do need to come down here, man. Check out this action. Oh, he lays the jacks oh, down. Man, lays jacks down. That is a good fold. Yeah. Very nice hand. Very nicely done. That much. It's a little information for me. I've played a lot with Ahmed. I'm gonna put that in the bank for later. You know, I finally had the conversation with my mom that I wasn't coming, coming up to St. Louis for Christmas. A little backstory: I was supposed to go there, and I was kind of not sure if I was going or not. Didn't necessarily want to make the drive, and then my mom and her husband both got COVID. <laughs> I was like, "Well, that kind of yeah, you got off the changes hook. things." <laughs> You got off the hook there. So I told her I told her I wasn't coming, and she wasn't as, as sad as I thought she was going to be. At least outwardly. And then, uh, but she's still kind of, at the end of the conversation, she goes, even if maybe we do, like, January, you can't come down? I was like, we'll see, but probably not. <laughs> and she held on to that, we'll see. <laughs> Texted me the other day. Fives are, fives are good right here at the moment, still. So I, I noticed that you've been uh, dodging this Mr. Crust thing. Oh, no, I, I just forgot about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Jared and I used to play disc golf together. I feel like I might have told you this before. I think I've talked about it on oh, the, the shirt. Oh, the shirt. The shirt. The pink shirt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's. He was Jared was the one that originated that. He was not the one that came in that day. It was another buddy of ours, Josh. But yeah, the the pink shirt is the thing. <laughs> I would literally just throw it in my trunk and then yeah, wear it the next time. <laughs> yeah. Nasty, crusty ass. We need to play disc golf though. It was warm today, man. Dang. Keep saying that, but we don't do it. We need to do it. I thought that's all this friendship was. We just like talk about doing shit, but not actually do it. Just le just keeping my hope alive. Yeah. yeah, and mine. You know, it's it's a two way street. Such a dirty human being. <laughs> human being. Bean. It'd be funny if that's what he actually thought it was. He's too smart for that. But that would be hilarious. The old human being. That might be a new. That might be a new thing right there. <laughs> the funny thing is, you could say it as much as you want, and no one's going to know. <laughs> Human bean. Only the people that know. <laughs> Human bean. Such a bean. Oh. 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 <laughs> we call Jared Squirrel. He's just a squirrely MF. All diamonds. Dom flops the straight and doesn't like it. No, he doesn't. He doesn't flop the straight either. <laughs> He's open ended. <laughs> Sebastian, the only one with a diamond. He's got a gut shot. And Ahmad is uh, currently hanging out. Just oh. chilling and betting 100, apparently. Stream's looking good. Thank you, brother. Oof. We've been uh, doing a lot of work trying to make it as good as possible. The eight of diamonds folds and would have hit the flush. Oh, man. Oh, he did fold the day. Hits his set. I Oh, wow, that's actually a sick yeah. turn of events. 
Especially because he was the one that, that bet the flop. Dumb. But now Dom's betting. Dom bets. What is happening in this hand? It's all over the place. Let's see if I'm mud. He makes He's going to call, call at least one. If Dom can fire here, he's probably getting a fold. Okay. He does not find a fire. No, Dom. Dom still has an option. Oh, here. Dom, there he yeah. is. Okay. Yeah. Giving up with the 10 there. It's actually really interesting. So, Ahmed led on the flop, and then another diamond comes and he checks. As Dom, I feel like I sh would be the one that would want to like just barrel off there and represent the diamond for value. But he's gonna give it up. And a nice pot headed Ahmed's way. This is, uh, <laughs> Danny was about to take a break, but this comment is bringing him back here. Doug, thank you. Yeah, Shit, the stream is good. Great info on the stream. Tracking of cards is quick and legit. Not sure about percentages, but they seem pretty close. I've been talking about that. <laughs> thank you. Here's the thing. Somebody else is paying you're, attention. You're focusing on the wrong thing. No, I'm just focusing on the all around and thing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point this out to our action tracker who's hopefully listening to me right now. He's not because he's talking. But it says, tracking of cards is quick and legit. Which That's you, good. buddy. We're happy about that. Thank you very much. It's but been uh, it's been a road. All right, I'm gonna take my break now. Yeah, go get us some some alcohol halls. We do appreciate the compliments. It's uh, you know, it's nice to create a product that people want to see. Three bet from Andrew here with the ace three of hearts. Charles and Robert coming along. Robert currently with the best hand. Not anymore. We got some chop outs for Andrew and Robert. Charles has absolutely nothing. And uh, Andrew with a pair of threes. He is going to bet. I think Robert probably calls here. He's got backdoor spades as well. That's a huge one. Dirty John. What's up, Poppy? How you doing, bud? When are you coming up here, bro? Your name is on the list. Pitter patter. Robert makes the call. Charles is going to get out of the way. Now a hard draw as well for Andrew. Continue. 225 is the bet. Go. He does make the fold. Nice pot headed Andrew's way. Mm 
Andrew currently the big winner so far, up 1.4K. A couple other small winners. And a few small losers. Robert currently the big dog at the moment. But we got a couple hours ready to go. I like that hat for Jeremy. Lucky me, I see money. You say that on the mic. Because <laughs> I can't hear you, and I'm too lazy to turn my headset off. Well, welcome back. I missed you. Did you? Yeah. There is currently not a seat open. Dirty, but you know, there might be by the end. We had a little lull in the middle with three seats open for a while, but they filled up. Actually, I think right now there is a seat open. No? Oh, maybe I looked at it wrong. This one may be up away from the table. Oh, well, you might be right, actually. Uh, I think I am. Yeah. Come on down, Dirty. Must, no, he's shaking his head now. They must be reloading. He must be reloading. Jeremy with pocket fives. Ouch. Open ended with the pocket fives and Jack Diddley squat for anyone else, but Lucas gonna bet here. The minimum was 500, and you can match high stack at the table, which is currently 3,500. 3,500. Jeremy with the best hand. Lucas going to have to fire and probably fire pretty big to take this down. What do we do? Just shots? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I didn't order drink drinks. Drink drinks? Yeah. If you want drink drinks, we can do that too. But yeah, We're going to order that when she gets back here. If you want. $100 to bet. See if Fives can sniff this out here. He does make the call, and he's going to take it down. Nice pot with the pocket fives there. All right, I'm sitting down. That's a good call. You do you, boo. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> well, my wrist just went numb. <laughs> uh, You're old. Yeah, I don't like it. Bro, why aren't we... We haven't done our bets. What are we doing? Yeah, we've been slacking. I have red tins. You have black queens? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Pitter patter. Are you want you want in on this? I don't remember what you did. Black sevens or something? Red eights? All right. Red eights it is. Uh, red tins. He's black queens. Alan, what's up, man? Pocket jacks. For Sebastian, the jacks have been going around the table. Yeah, it's a pretty solid game, Alan. Chips are flying. Robert with the 10-9. <laughs> Talking about all the dead cards that we have. <laughs> we do a little uh, little prop bet. Just because we get bored back here, you know. Any red 10 on the flop, turn or river, I get paid. Any black queen, Danny gets paid. And any red 8, uh, action tracker gets paid. <laughs> he doesn't have a real name. All diamonds. Oh, oh my goodness. Robert hits. Flushes for two players. Oh, that's nasty. 
Both Robert and Lucas hit a flush. Wow. Robert's not dead. He's got a little bit of equity, but it's runner, runner. He needs a straight flush on the board. That's brutal. Which would be brutal. unreal. Because <laughs> he's never getting folds at that point. Gross. Sebastian bets his jacks here for 225. It's a big portion of his stack as well. It's kind of funny that jacks are actually in a better position here than Robert's flush. They're both runner runner either way. Yeah, but is it better? Look, uh, I think he has. Yeah, it says it says it's slightly better, but. Uh oh, who shipped it? Uh, oh no, Robert. Shipped Robert it. shipped it. Now Lucas is gonna think about it. He's shaking his head. Is he like? Did he really have? Does he really have the Ace of Diamonds here? Seven eight, seven three, three deuce. Couple other yeah, with possibilities, I mean, but yeah, not much. No. He's probably thinking a suited ace here, like ace, or he's just Hollywood, yeah, hoping that Hollywood. Sebastian wants to come along. He has been he has been taking time. He has been taking yeah. some time to make decisions all stream, which is good. I mean, it's it's really good that you, even in this spot, you still maintain the same table image. Yeah, you know. He makes the call. This is tough for Sebastian because <laughs> he's like, if they, you know, if they have draws, that's just a really yeah. good price for had, him. But he he's going to let it go. Diamonds, he said he would have called. Unfortunate for Robert here. <laughs> <laughs> Complaining about the <laughs> sick needle. Oh, almost straight flush. Robert doesn't understand why he took so long to make yeah, that call. Doesn't, doesn't like the uh, the Hollywood. Huge, huge hand there for Lucas, and he's now. The big boy stack at the table. Robert, I think going to grab cash. He's not leaving. He's coming back. hear the chair again. It's not me. No, I know. You were standing that whole time. It's not Rika either. Suzanne with the Pocket Kings. They're starting to make their way around the table. Would you call them a bad cold the other day? Kings, yeah, yeah. like a bad cold. Yeah. Everybody was getting it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good memory, man. <laughs> the worst result, she gets no action. Just a bad thing. Do you want to go check out the Big Easy tonight, bro? No. Oh, man, you got my hopes up. Oh. Are they going to have music tonight? They have it every night. Probably not after midnight, though. I don't know. You can look maybe. Up, maybe. See how far it is. I don't want to, like, I don't want to go hard. You don't have to. Just want to do something besides. You know what we normally do. <laughs> you don't want to go play nothing. pool. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. No, I didn't say that. Playing pool, hanging out at Prime, seventy to one Prime Social. That ain't too bad. Well, 
pool. I, dude, I'm loving playing pool. Pool and some cards, Probably maybe? Probably the most I've played recently. Played a little, took a little break from uh, my session the other day and played some nine ball against Dan. He was supposed to be here tonight too, he didn't show up. I like Dan. Good dude. Yeah. Yeah, he, he has been playing live stream a lot lately. Yep. Yeah, we were battling it out on the poker table and then we both took a break and went and <laughs> battled on the pool table. I'm not to the point where I'm like, that I ever want to bet on pool though. I'm just not that good. I was making some pretty good shots, but. Have you seen the movie, The Color of Money? Uh, I don't think so, but I feel like watch it. Yeah, watch it. Paul Newman and Tom Cruise. Yeah, young, young Tom Cruise. It's a good movie. They're still talking about that tank, which I think my opinion on the tank is, you know, I, I'm not sure if he was doing this, but no matter what, if I'm in Robert's shoes. And someone else is tanking as the middle acting player. It doesn't matter how long they take because they could just be Hollywooding to try and get the other player in. So it never feels like a slow roll to me. You know, because I, I just understand that they could still have the nuts at that point. Yeah. But to his credit, like I said, like he has been – that's just how he plays. He had, he takes, that's true. He does he take takes a He takes time to yeah. make decisions. Even if he was – even if he was – even if it was an immediate fold there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been putting spots oh, on the table. what is this shit? No, that's... Oh, that's his. Okay. Good. Oh, I got you. Um, to get back to what I was saying, he has been putting... Uh, Lucas has been putting spots where it was an obvious fold and he still took time to fold. That's just how he's been playing at the table. And I made the comment while he was tanking with the good hand, like, it's, it's good to see that he still maintains that. It's hard to do. To maintain that image where he's going to take time no matter what to make a play, it uh, eliminates certain tells. So, yeah, I think that was a great play by Lucas there. Um, to maintain that discipline to take time the same amount of time he's been doing on other situations other calls and folds and stuff like that not to give anything away Andrew raises pre-flop here with his A7 off suit. Lucas folds. Sebastian three bets with his ace nine suited. He's gonna take it down.
Andrew raises with his king seven here. Sebastian is going to make a call with, queen, with king nine. Dom comes along. I like it. With six four off suit. Mixing it up and hits a six. It's pretty dirty and he checks it. Dom checks his six. Takes it down. 6 4 off suit. Uh oh. Is it that time? Oh, yeah. It's all good, buddy. <laughs> hey. Uh. Buddy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Cheers. I know, right? Just realized. <laughs> oh, he's over <laughs> here. Yeah, way to do your job too, buddy. What a freaking loser! <sighs> Jaeger bomb. Uh, what'd you have? Makers. Ooh, chilled at least. <laughs> no. No. Oh. oh, that was disgusting. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. Those like. Those whiskeys that are good to sip are just so bad to take shots of. There's a reason why they're good to sip. <laughs> oh. Water. Oh. Cheers, y'all. Bullet's not a bad shooting whiskey. I still don't like I don't like it. You I love chill. Bullet. You have to chill whiskey. That's true. You yeah. Do. You really do. <laughs> chill, not shaking. Don't ever shake whiskey. Okay. Chill it. Don't shake it. If the bartenders are listening, don't shake whiskey. <laughs> Why are you telling them how to do their job? Uh huh. I said why. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, uh, I just passed over that. <laughs> this guy bartends for like half a year and he thinks he's more than that. And I was trained by the best. Me? No. Definitely not. I'm never a bartender, but that's something that I've always kind of wanted to do. You'd be good at it. Why do you say that? Two pair for Personality. Sure. That's 90% of it. <coughs> yeah, that's true. My biggest issue. Brent Lucas opened the cash table of Prime this morning. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's go, buddy. Putting in a session. Putting in a session. Going hard. And Charles Charles with two pair right currently here. Currently winning. Jeremy with a flush draw. Classic. Classic matchup. Also got a little gut shot there to a jack. Looks like he's gonna just make the call. Oh wow, that's oh, so dirty. No. That is the worst. That is the worst turn card of all time. What a sick. That's so gross. Card. Charles makes his boat. And Jeremy makes his flush. That's so nasty. Two ninety in the pot. Currently, Charles has kind of set it oh, up. Oh, he no, well, he's it. no. I was, I was about to say Charles has been setting this up the whole time. He's been checking the whole time. No, he, it says except he for the turn, turn. Yeah. the turn he bet. But he he checked the he checked pre flop. He just smooth called the flop like. He's been setting this trap. So he bets. There's the raise. And a call. You knew nice I had hand. King Deuce? You got King Deuce? That's so sick. How do you believe you got King Deuce? Okay, so that is well, he obviously didn't know because he called you 250. Like if he knew, he would have folded. I don't know. Daniel Negreanu calls people's hands all the time Just and then see makes if he's the right. Call. Yeah. 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 Yep. One of the sickest things I've ever seen with Daniel Negreanu, it was a tournament. I forget he when and where. No, no, it was a tournament. He was playing against a guy who was wearing an Ocho Cinco jersey. And um, they get in the hand and uh, – 
it's pre-flop action, goes around a little bit, and the guy had pocket, he had a pocket pair, I think it was, I think it was pocket tens, but it was a pocket pair, and he raises Negranu, Negranu tanks for a while, and looks at the guy, and literally says, the next time you have that hand, I'm gonna knock you out of the tournament. <laughs> Said it to the guy, and the guy laughs or whatever and folds, right? <laughs> on on the live stream, a couple hands later, so I don't know how many hands were in yeah. between there, but, I mean, it was probably 30 minutes later in on the, on the stream, the guy has pocket tens again, gets in a hand with Negranu, and Negranu busts his ass. Uh. And, 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 and told him, before they, like, the guy gets it all in on the river, and Negranu calls and said, I told you, and he turns <laughs> his hand over, and it was, the, it was the hand, and I was like, what the hell's going on? It was amazing. <laughs> uh, he's an animal. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I just love the one where he's like, puts the guy on kings, tells him he has kings, and then raises to bluff him. And, you know, he the guy folds, just says, he, I think he says, you're a sick human. And uh, Negrande mucks his hand and goes, he's like, I put you on kings. It doesn't mean I beat kings, but I put you on kings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty sick. I was a huge fan of Negranu until I followed his Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about it. Okay. Bobby with top pair and a flush draw. Ahmad Ahmed with a better top pair. I was a big Sammy Farhall fan. Oh, yeah. Back in the early days. And then he got bluffed by Moneymaker. And then I've heard all these stories about him. I, I yeah, just love a lot his, of stories. I just loved his persona on the table. He always had a cigar in his mouth, you know, yeah. hanging out. And Huck Finn. I liked Huck Finn, too. A poker player? Yeah, Huck Finn. I don't know who that is. You can look him up. Two pair now for Ahmed. There were a couple of chop outs there for Bobby, but not this time. Pretty nasty oh. board for both of those hands, though. I mean, I just realized that hit, Omad hit two pair. No, no, I realized that. Uh, uh, Action Tracker changed his name to Bobby. <laughs> nice, because you heard me say it earlier. Nice. I think when he rebought it, he made it Bobby. Love it. Bobby Jones. I don't even know who that is. I know oh. it's a famous person. I mean, like an old. I went to high school football with a guy named Bobby Jones or something. We played soccer together. <laughs> oh, he's a golfer. The Bobby Jones I know. There's a golfer and a basketball player. That makes sense, though. We can call him Bobby Jones because he's a, an avid golfer. And apparently a very good one. I'd like to go golfing with him sometime. One of the greatest golfers ever. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting that I've... I, I guess I've heard the name, but I, did, I didn't know that he was a golfer. And a lawyer. Oh. Same guy or a different guy? Because I feel like I know a lot of golfers. I'm not ignorant to the golfing world. Uh, Action Tracker says he's not a lawyer, he's a realtor. I really like this thing where I just call him Action Tracker. <laughs> the man behind the scenes making it all yeah. go. <laughs> the no name. He never went pro. One of the greatest golfers ever and never went pro. Never went pro. Okay. All right. Action Tracker's upset with your uh, information. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Oh, that guy. <laughs> he thought we were actually talking about Robert on the table, who is a realtor. Oh. Well, he's not a realtor, but he's in real estate. <clears throat> I guess maybe he is a realtor. I just know he, he like flips houses and shit. He quit golf to follow law. Where did law take him? Yeah, how'd that work out? 
But here's the thing. You say he's the greatest golfer ever. I call bullshit. Like, <laughs> I, maybe he quit to like, do law, but there ain't no proof. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean... Sebastian raises with the sevens to 30. <laughs> Dom with the monsters. Oh. Three bet in the 110. I wish. And a call. I wish one of the uh, stats that we could put up was three bet frequency. But I don't believe. I don't believe that's one of the options. Pretty safe should board be. for aces. I need to start a list of all the things I want to email this, the owner of this software. Yeah, tell him to get his percentages right. <laughs> he won the first. Oh, sorry. We got you got a you got a book. Oh, we have a raise to 200 and a snap all in with the sevens. Uh-oh. He is not loving life right now. He's got one out. <laughs> one singular out. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. All right, let's read this. Oh, Robert. Hey, this he, is commented on himself. Yeah. he commented on it himself. <clears throat> I feel like he like copied this straight from Wikipedia. <laughs> in eight seasons or from his 23 to 30. High school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jones won 13 major championships, including five U.S. Amateurs, four U.S. Opens, three British Opens, one British Amateur on September 23rd, 7th, 30, 1930. He became the only man to win all four major titles in one season, completing the Grand Slam. Huh, that's really cool. Very nice. Good to know. Well, thank you, Bobby Jones. Appreciate that. Yo, yeah. <laughs> okay, but so <laughs> here's the thing, though. Here's my <laughs> issue with, with the conversation that just went down. <laughs> Is Brett said he never went pro. Like, what? He's pro at that point. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, he's probably a he's pro. He's playing all the majors. How is he? How, how is he, is he never pro? pro? Yeah. See, you just can't be wrong. You got to find something to make you right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just a logical human. That's all. <laughs> Robert Trent Jones, a different guy, designed some of the best golf courses in the country. Back then, it was different. He is wrong. <laughs> he never took money. So they didn't they didn't win money for for like hey winning man, those This is your, no, I, I'm, this is your I'm, argument. I'm asking. Buddy. I'm, not, I'm <laughs> just curious. Me, I'm I'm very intrigued at this point. <laughs> stepping back. I'm not stepping back. I am. There's new information. <laughs> oh, you're stepping back. I'm stepping back. I'm going to let you get in there. <laughs> Listen, Robert. His family was wealthy. I'm talking to the Robert at the table at this point. Amateurs can't win money. Uh, Robert at the table, sir. You've played poker with me. You know that I'm never wrong. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Pretty juicy flop here for the three hands in there. Okay, so you can play all of these tournaments. You just can't play them as a professional that doesn't make sense to me because if you're playing in the same class to be able to to claim that you won these titles then you should be in the professional class right robert jones this is more fun than the game that's right that's why you, that's why everybody subscribes to why we stream. tune in baby <laughs> we have fun back here <laughs> robert jones you should come back and have a shot with us i don't know if i've ever seen him take a shot he drinks beers every once in a while
Ahmed wins with his king. My understanding of, like... Yeah, that is... No, uh, to be honest, that's a little confusing. But back in the 30s, I guess... Well, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, is... The ability to play a, an amateur tournament... You have to have amateur status, right? But the pro tournaments are all considered open tournaments. There you go. Yeah, okay. So I, I get it now. That makes sense. Yeah. As, as someone that... Like, anybody can play an open... Which it would be like all of the high level tournaments, but only pros could not play the, you know, the amateur. Interesting. <clears throat> so a college kid could win a US Open, but he would have to turn down the money to keep playing in college. Here's the thing now, though, is the NCAA allows college players to earn money, but not from competition. Oh, they it's, earn money it's for from their sponsorships and their rights. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Dom with the pocket queens. I took uh, sport management in college, actually, and some of the classes we had to take were sport law classes. And um, there was... Before... Before or around when we came out with the Dream Team, there was legal issues because the Olympics is supposed to be an amateur thing. Wait, really? Yeah. And going along with what Brent said, like, pros, you lose your amateur status when you accept any amount of money for the for the sport that you yeah. are playing. And so there was a there was a lot of legality or even morality issues when we weren't the, we weren't the first and we weren't the only but we were one of the few countries that were trying to let professional athletes join the Olympics. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, made a living as a lawyer, so he didn't need the money. All right. Sounds good. I stand corrected. Not corrected, but but track and field. <laughs> was a big uh, proponent and a big example of the Olympic thing because they have to – there's no way that they could be – a. Prof there's no way that they could keep doing what they were doing and work a full-time job. Yeah. So, but, but on the flip side of that argument, their money came from sponsorships and – yeah, they never they never made money for the events that they were in. They got sponsored to do that. Yeah, and so that's kind of how I don't know. That's that's how we skirted around letting professional basketball players yeah. play on the dream team. And now it's completely wide open. You can yeah. play anybody now. But yeah, that was something we studied in college. It, it's interesting, interesting stuff. The, the 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 fine line between the definition of amateur and professional and then the blurred lines of sponsorships and yeah you know playing yeah you know? what was the other th I added percentages that I was gonna email the guy what was the other thing I was gonna email him about? Ahmad gonna raise it up. I keep saying Ahmad. It's Ahmed. Ahmed raising up to 50. My apologies, sir. Charles coming along with the sixes. We'll set mine action. Oh, did you hear the, the Academy? You know what I'm talking about when I say the Academy? Yes. He binked, a, he binked an online tournament over Christmas. 15K. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. I know who that is, but I didn't know the Academy part of that. I was th I thought you were talking about, like, the like the Academy Awards. No, no, Like, no, when no, you no. say the Academy. 
No. I don't know what the academy is, but I. I One of my roommates. Yeah, yeah no, I yeah. know. I heard. His nickname. I, I knew you guys he were talking about it. He binked another tournament, dude. Very he's, nice. He's insane, man. Very nice. Yeah. You Are, heard Charles drove here from Lafayette just to play this game. That's awesome. Very nice. Where's Lafayette? Halfway between here and New Orleans. Oh, okay. Lafayette, Louisiana. That's not a short drive. Nope. What, about three hours? Uh, I literally just... Yes, it was about three hours. Nailed it. Nailed it. The Academy. I'm trying to... I'm trying to understand why that's a thing, but we can talk about it. That's later. his nickname. I know, but why? I don't. I've never. I've oh. never heard that before. The action tracker is texting me. <laughs> Literally sitting five feet away from me and is texting me. <laughs> Huh. These are some much more tame V pips than we're used to. Yeah, I know, right? This is a but it's not been a it's not been a boring game. It's a level game. It's yeah. just a, it's a level game. That V pip will change if Dirty John <laughs> shows up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the color of money, though, you need to watch that one. That's a good one. Um. Was another one. Oh, I showed Adam uh, Over the Top, the movie Over the Top. You don't know that one either? Nope. Oh my gosh, you gotta start hanging out. It's from 1987. It's a Sylvester Stallone movie about arm wrestling, <laughs> <laughs> and it is awesome. That's funny. <laughs> uh, they need to make a movie about those like okay. Russian dudes that like like the slap. They're about to put it on TV, bro. Dana White, oh really? Bought rights to this oh, shit, and is nice. gonna start doing like UFC style slap fighting, bro. I saw <laughs> a, saw a, a advertisement for it, and I'm all about Those it. Those are crazy. <laughs> Let's go. There's like one dude that's like so much better than all the others too. <laughs> He's just like knocking people out left and right. <laughs> I can't wait for that to come out, man. It'd be so much fun. Suzanne's got the best hand here at the moment. Andrew with two overs gonna see a turn card. Not a helpful turn card. Pair of sevens. Currently good. Andrew looking like he wants to. Bluff this river. After it goes check check on the turn. Oh, he's gonna let it go. Honestly, his ace eye has decent showdown in the spot. Suzanne taking it down. You know, when I was out there uh, getting us drinks, walked past the PLO table. You remember Ryan was supposed to join the table. Uh, I think he's happy he didn't. He's got about 6K in front of him right now. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> he had two full black stacks and four green stacks. Nice. Good for him. Oh, hello there. Might have bought him from the cage, I guess. <laughs> I thought about this the other day. I don't think... So, in the eyes of, like, people around the room, like... You know, just people that hang out in the poker room. Like, if you're at a table... And you sit with more money... It doesn't matter if you bought it or not, but you sit with more money than anybody at the table... For just, like, an amount of hours where people see you... 
they just automatically think you're a winning player. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much you like. They just yeah. Like if you do that long term over you know a certain amount of hours, certain amount of months, whatever, people are just automatically gonna think that you're a winning player, even though you you might not be. Oh. Six in the window, and a full house. This could be bad for Charles here. Like insta check check on the flop. Yep. Charles leading out for 50. Bobby is playing Charles's game here. Charles has been kind of aggressive. No help for Charles. He does check. Only 200 in the pot so far. Brush on five. Bobby. Bets a little less than half pot. Bobby just going to call, or I'm sorry, Charles calling. Calling and knowing he's folding. <laughs> it's a little, a little small of a pot for a flops, flops boat. <laughs> for what you're hoping anyway. Just the way it happened to work out. There's a lot of green on that table there. And when there's a lot of green, that means that there's generally one player that's <laughs> Ouch. at the bottom, and Bobby's that player. For now. There's still time. For the letter kind of keeps popping up on my uh, need to watch. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm going to have to start watching. I've tried twice. I I've seen the first season like twice. And I haven't seen I mean, past that. Is it because you don't like it, or no? It's just no. I do like it. It's the, I'm, I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Just I don't know I, why I haven't continued. I mean, I claim to be a really big fan, but I haven't seen like the last three seasons. I think the first couple were like immaculate, and then it sort of fell off. Yeah, there it is. Just like that. What's that? He's, he, they're talking about how he lives in Lafayette. Nice. A couple straight draws. Ahmed and Andrew with the same exact hand. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a straight. Both of them hit the straight. I'm at reaching for chips. That chair in the background. I don't know if you can hear, I hear it. No, I hear it. That's why you looked at me. Yeah. yeah. That of 95 and a call, and we are chopping this up unless some player decides to fold. Can't imagine that would be the case. I guess it could go like. Check bet all in or something. Oh, look, you lost the glasses. I guess it's not that bright out there. <laughs> what? <laughs> they go check, check on the river. They do have lo the lower end of the street there, so. Chop it up. On to the next one. What a river. We gotta kill the fireworks, man. That wasn't 
I thought at least someone was betting. Danny's tired, y'all. Oh my god, these guys are supposed to have hands there. Trying to get eight. Oh, why is it two, three, three, four? That was a big call. When you're just heating up on a guy, <laughs> you want to hold it. I almost hold it. Yeah, we gotta beat up on Phil. <laughs> Sorry for the pause, guys. Looking for something to comment about. <laughs> see what happens. Dom, here we go. Dom raises with Jack Eight offsuit. Andrew with Ace King is going to three bet here. Seventy five dollars. Lucas makes the fold. Jeremy folds. Sebastian picks up eights right here. Dom four bits with his jack eight, making him power play here. It's a 
very interesting move. Andrew makes the call. Sebastian folds the best hand here. It's a hell of a play by Dom. Let's see if he keeps the story going. He hits his jack. Amazing. There's no way he checks here. That's an interesting bet. He bets 150. Now he bet 400 and something pre-flop. He bets 150 on the flop. Andrew calls with ace king. It's an interesting call there too. Nobody improves. Dom's still ahead with his jack. He's got to think he's ahead right here because of just the call from Andrew. He makes a bet. 375. Mark J, fix it. What are you talking about? Wish there was a picture to tell who apart. Uh, Dom takes a pot down. That was very interesting hand, Dom. That was that was interesting play. It was pretty good. Bobby Reeds is with 6 5 suited. <laughs> Jeremy and Sebastian in, in both with decent hand. Suzanne's going to come along with her Jack 10. Four to the flop. Nobody with an eight. Brent McCormick, yes, shout out to Stacks for act action tracking. He makes this all possible. We just comment on top of it. He does an amazing job. That's why we keep asking him to do it. Five. Bobby's five is going to take the pot down. Made sure that Stack saw your comment. He appreciates it. Says thank you. You know what's crazy? Is that's his actual last name? <laughs> I know. It's awesome. <laughs> like you were meant to be in this yeah. game, bro. Cool I literally, shit. I thought that, I thought that that was just like a thing. Like people call him Colin Stacks. Like, no, that's no, his last that's name. His last name. And his nickname is Buzz. Which you know, why not? Like you don't need a nickname, bro. Just be, be Stacks. No, he earned that nickname. I didn't ask. Yeah. You want to, do you know how he got it? Uh, no, but I can assume. <laughs> Excuse me. You can assume. What do you assume? I don't know that he got fucking drunk one night or something. No, I gave it to him. I think we've talked about this, and I don't like. I don't think. Whatever. What? How did he get it? <laughs> I'm done fighting with you tonight. I'm over it. <laughs> 
So we used to play hearts a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you play hearts. Did you drug my beer? Yes. Nice. Free free drugs. Um, hearts. You don't want points in hearts, right? Certain cards are points. You don't want points in hearts. Yeah. But if you can play a hand and take all the points, yeah, it's called shooting the moon. Oh yeah. And you give everybody else twenty six points. Mm -hmm. Well, when Buzz first started playing hearts, he would try to shoot the moon every hand. So we, we <laughs> called him Buzz Aldrin because he's trying to land ah, on the moon all the time. And then, yeah, Buzz. That's how it came up. Love to see it. Uh, yeah. Does that say Marky? Mark J. Fix Yeah, I asked him what he meant, and he hasn't responded. He's talking about the players and their positions, and this is on me. I forgot to put the number in front of their names today so that people could know which seat they're in. Oh. We've we've talked about doing the like the whole photo thing, but it's just it's a whole it's just another thing that we would have to get done like before the stream starts and it kind of already like the players already kinda of sit around and wait for us to be ready for the stream to start, so we're trying to I wasn't sure what he meant. Sorry, Mark. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a nice takedown for Andrew there. He raised Yeah, Brent. That's why his the, fantasy name is Buzz. Five. That's his nickname. Shoot for the moon. <laughs> he says he carried it over to spades as he, well. He's proud of his nickname. <laughs> Did Danny give it to you? What, you think I was lying? Yeah, probably. <sighs> so you tried to start all this. You tried to start all these things and I'm over here doing it. Brent said he once shot the moon in hearts and four straight hands. It's because I wasn't playing, Brent. Because I wasn't playing. <laughs> Computer. Brent, if you ever hang around one time after work, we'll get a we'll get a hearts game going. There's been a or while spades since game. I played hearts. Or spades game if you want to play spades. Let's play some OFC. Dude, you and Adam like wanted to play spades so bad. I was like, nah, OFC is good. Me and Abe just played OFC for four hours. It was good. It's a good time. I I can't get behind OFC. Why? I just don't it's so much fun, dude. I, I love it. I don't know the scoring and just frustrating. I don't know the scoring either. There's a lot of there's a lot of trust that I'm putting in Abe <laughs> to not just like <laughs> hustle the fuck out of me, but yeah. I mean I know the hierarchy of hands, you know, like yeah. if somebody was trying to hustle me a point wise I could probably pick it out, but <laughs> oh, oh, shots fired I'm not bro. gonna announce that <laughs> <laughs> if he watches and reads it that's on him <laughs> uh. so we had an OFC situation that happened and it, I'm, by the sound of it you've played OFC so we're playing progressive and uh, Abe is in fantasy we're playing heads up Abe's in fantasy we have jokers uh, he's in fantasy with, I think, King. So he has 15, 15 cards he gets. And I'm not in fantasy. And I go boat, boat. <laughs> That's funny. I go boat, boat trips in a non-fantasy hand to make it into fantasy with 17 cards. Which, you know, I haven't played a whole lot, but everyone else is like, holy shit, that's crazy. And apparently I'm supposed to, like, just destroy him for the rest of the night because I get 17 cards and I should just never not be in fantasy anymore. And it only lasted, like, three freaking hands. I was like, what the hell? I'm pissed. Where's all the chips disrespectful to represent Texas gambling? Uh, I mean, there's some pretty big stacks on this table. So I, I don't know. I don't know what your, uh... Susan with aces right here. I don't know. Might be taking all the chips. You got both jokers? No, he uh, had one joker. I think I had one. Yeah, yeah, I was one. yeah I saw I had one. you had one. I got a natural trip aces, I think it was, too. That was the other thing, is it was trip aces, so I, like, I, like, fucked him up with points and royalty points that hand. 
Yeah, if you would have if you could have reset your hand, your your middle hand would have been quad tens, but yeah, 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 couldn't do it. Yeah, I feel like I got a little slow rolled in that whole situation because they were like, oh, what's the buyout? $100? We were playing 50 cents a point. Ooh, this is an interesting turn card. Yeah, that helped. That helped jam me out. And then. Never mind. That's it. Susan just snap checks yeah, back. Still with River, there. though. It completes the flush. I scooped, I scooped that hand. Just yeah. Hand down a little oh. bit. That was the other, the other thing with our session that night. Is like every time someone is in fantasy, they just got like the worst. Like no one, no one really destroyed in fantasy. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> we kept getting like terrible, terrible fantasy. Let's see, four, three, uh, ten, thirteen, fifteen, math. seventeen, eighteen, fifteen. There's about twenty grand on the table. All right. A little below. It's not bad. Twenty grand on a nine-handed table, five-five game. Not too shabby. Yeah. Sorry, Justin. Although I've seen I've seen one three tables with twenty grand on. Them. Yeah. Dude, I played the most insane one three game here at Prime last week. <laughs> it was unreal, dude. Couldn't believe it. We had like thirty grand on the table. <laughs> it was crazy. And I was running good. A good night for Alex Optional. Must be nice. Yo, yeah. I, I feel like one. I know the name Justin LaRef. I need one of those. I'm trying to think of who that is. Uh oh. Andrew, three bits with Jack 10 suited. Don't take it down. No opposition. Sebastian with Queens. Brent, best hair in Hughes. That's right. Majestic. That's what we call it. He's probably gonna have. He's probably gonna get it redyed soon. <laughs> Not calling him out, but it's gonna happen. You already addressed this. I did. Okay. Yes, you want to do it again? No. Okay. Oh, 
He bombed it. He bombed it? Yo, yeah. yeah. I can actually hear Luke sh pitch the cards. <laughs> All I can hear is that squeaking noise. <laughs> It's been happening for a while now. Like, someone out there is just going to town <laughs> rocking on a freaking dog toy or something. That's definitely a chair. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Somebody rocking or swiveling or something. If I was at their table, I'd be like, dude, you got to stop. Or I'd just bring them a different chair. <laughs> you would want I should have I done this a while ago. Just gone out there and, like, found... The person who's squeaking. <laughs> this, I don't it's, think not it's, a, it's not at our table. Yeah, it's at nobody at the table is moving that like that. When I went out there, I I like sat there and listened for a while to see if I would hear it from anyone. I never heard it while I was standing there for like a couple minutes at least. Seat open, chat. Get in there, kid. Pitter patter. I have one pair of hands. Pins. I said pitter patter. <laughs> I forgot what this I was supposed to say. Guy. After that. <laughs> I know what I I know what's going through my head, but it was wrong, so I'm not gonna say it again. Let's let's get at her. There it is. What did I say before? Just get at her. Oh god, my bad. It was close enough, but it still really like hurt me inside, uh, so I had to say something about it. We should go to Katz's after this. I would fuck up like a Monte Cristo right now. <laughs> Have you had the Monte Cristo? Woo! It's good shit. I just saw something on the pre-delay thing that I can't wait to roast them for. <laughs> just wait for 30 minutes and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I probably just shouldn't have said anything until it happened, but that's okay.
Oh, goodness gracious. I have a really hard life, you know? Do you? <laughs> no, not at all. That's kind of crazy. I thought about this a lot. This, this, this started off as a meme and it's just going to turn into a brag. But, like, I've just been in insanely blessed with, like, my jobs throughout my life. It's kind of crazy. I'm not going to continue on that, but. No, go ahead, because I feel the same way. Do you? About my life, too. Yeah. Will you put your mic closer to your mouth? Thank yeah, you. I've lived a pretty charmed life so far. Oh, yeah. you. I, I agree with that. It's actually, it's kind of funny. Like, you had a different, yours was different and more extravagant because I've heard stories. But mine was still, like, sort of similar, and I didn't even really realize that until just now. Just because I got to tour and travel and do all that. I just didn't travel the world. I just traveled the U.S. It was a little less extravagant, but still pretty dope. Yeah, I, did. The, the I have, have been pretty lucky, yeah. actually. I was thinking about it the other day, like, yeah. If you weren't I, so I went ugly, to school, you might have, like, had a better life, too. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's hard, it's hard to, to get this to work for you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but this, yeah, my afro works. actually has open uh, <laughs> certain all, doors. All the doors. Certain Some doors. Yeah. Certain doors. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Which doors? Um, I got, I've gotten mistaken for celebrities like two or three times mm. and got, yeah, I remember these stories, gotten something out of it. I was thinking the other day, you're a really good storyteller. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if you potentially geared your stories towards comedy, you would be a good comedian. Yeah. It's not that you're like crazy funny, but I think that cause some comedians, like they have like one liners and they're just funny and weird. But, like, others, they just, they literally basically are just, like, telling stories. Yeah, about their life. Yeah, and that's yeah. all. Yeah. So if you, like, did the storytelling bit, which you're good at, and then just, like, focused it more on the comedy side of things, I think you would be a successful comedian. Yeah. No, I did, yeah, I've been thinking about things. Like, I went to college, I got the degree you were supposed to get, I got a oh, did you? What degree that you were supposed to get, you and all this shit like that. Yeah. That's really surprising. And it's just all didn't pan out how it was supposed to so i i got my mba actually i have my master's in business administration my mba yeah with a concentration in negotiation and interesting uh i got it in 2008 when the economy tanked and the deal that i had with the college fell through and so i turned my life into my business and i've tried to manage it accordingly i've seen the world doing that yeah so can't be mad at it Yo, yeah. Always looking for the next adventure. <laughs> That's what Houston was for me. Houston was... Yeah. Uh, I sold all my stuff in North Carolina and moved out of my comfort zone, the, the town I lived in for 20 years. And, and let me tell you, Houston... Took off. Is an adventure. <laughs> Brent, yes, and absolutely. Itself. I do want to do that. I've been seeing advertisements for that, and I want to go. Yeah, I'm done. I always love an improv. I wish I could do comedy. It's funny when you, like, I worked for a comedian for a couple of years, and I watched him do it, and it looks easy. It's not. And it's not. <laughs> it's no, the it's not. far opposite. I've been told I need to write a book. I think that's what yeah, I might do, is write a book. Jeremy with Ace Queen here. Gonna raise it up to 40. I have a title. If Punning the Sweet Fantastic? Huh? Punning the Sweet Fantastic? No, no. <laughs> That sounds like a band, though. Sounds like a punk band. That's a uh, <clears throat> reference to New Girl. No. My my book would be entitled Extraordinary Adventures of an Ordinary Man. Okay. It's terrible. Maybe you should workshop that. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's really good. 
Oh, pitter patter, son. Let's get at her. It'll just be short stories of my travels and situations I've found myself in and stuff. Is it going to be X rated? No, that's another book. Okay, <laughs> different book. Crazy Women Stories, that's another one. <laughs> I don't know the title of that one yet. But. Definitely have to change the name of The Innocent. <laughs> or the, I don't know about The Innocent, but definitely would have to change names in that book. Oh, look, poker. Ahmad. Yeah, let's go. Ahmed. I can't, like, not start saying that word and say it wrong. Uh, Ahmed with Ace King. Uh, never mind. That's no it. poker. No poker, poker is not happening Bing. in this hand. <laughs> but no, I was thinking about it when um, the Academy binked that 15K on Christmas. Like, if you're really that invested in playing online poker, something that you can do from anywhere you want to do it, why aren't you, why aren't you doing it from anywhere you could do it? You know? Are you talking about any person in specific? Just anybody. Like, if, like if you have that ability to to grind oh, yeah. out money on online poker, like that was my original plan. There has plan. to be a trade-off. There has to be a trade-off with your money. Otherwise, what are you doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be doing it to grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you when you bink, I mean, even you, like you play a, you play enough live poker where you could travel around and play. You know, and otherwise, what are you? What's the point? Well, here's the argument against that for my specific situation is that the. The poker here is unlike any other poker. Yeah, I get that. So, so if we're talking about playing live poker, then no, yeah, but, I can't travel. Yeah, but you can make this here. your home base, and then you can go off and... No, that's what I do. You can play poker anywhere. That's what I've done. Up and until then, I went broke you in know, Vegas. If, if it doesn't work somewhere, you can come back. Yeah, but for like, sure. If you just, like like him, for example, I mean, he, he's hit like two or three huge... <laughs> not, not massive, like, not like six-figure scores, but... Enough money to where he can enjoy something, you know, and he just sits there and grinds out live uh, online poker. Like, yeah, what's the point, you know? And so when he binked this last one, I was like, bro, take some money and just disappear. Just go somewhere. Go to Amsterdam for a week or go to, like, yeah. Thailand for a week. Take your laptop, you know. You can play. You can, you can run a little online tournament in a coffee shop in Amsterdam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why yeah. would you not? I just don't get it. I, I don't know. It's, you have to have you have to have a you have to be able to enjoy what you do. You have to be able to enjoy some of the money that you make. Otherwise, well, here's the thing though. Some people just enjoy the playing. Well, I get that. But if you can, but if you can play anywhere. But the other the other part of that is play. Like, 15k isn't enough to guarantee. Even 25k, which he binked recently, so put those together, 35k, like he doesn't have that money still. That'd be 40k, but he's also yeah, yeah, binked sorry. other tournaments too. Like just the like the big scores like that. Like just take just. I'm put just a, telling you, I've been there. Just put a little bit back. I've been there with bigger scores than those, yeah. and it didn't take long to to blow through that money. Well, now I did, I did do the traveling. I but, did, but that's what I'm saying is like. You, I you did have the traveling, to enjoy it. For sure. You have to. Otherwise, there's no point. Yeah. No, if you're not enjoying that. the money you make playing, then there's no point in playing. I get that. I've learned that it really, like the amount that is, that seems like enough is not enough. Yeah. No, it definitely. How much was the buy-in for that 15K? Play, that playing he, poker, that he playing poker for a living is definitely a stressful, very complicated way to make your money. But th that that feeds into my argument even more: is that when you do hit something that big, to not reinvest it all back into poker. Like, do something for yourself outside of that.
to enjoy. Well, yeah, that, I get that. that. <laughs> the reason why you're playing. You I know? get it to a certain extent, but I understand the other the other side of it. And the other side of it is, so how much was the buy-in for that tournament? Which one? The 15K. How much? The 200. A $200 buy-in. To play $200 buy-ins consistently online, you need at least 200 buy-ins at that level. What's well, 200 times 200? 40K. $40,000. Yeah. That's, that's to consistently buy into those tournaments and and sustain that with essentially what you, would, know, I you understand would consider. Bankroll. I understand the bankroll that you need, but on the flip side of your bankroll is bankroll management as well. And it, Bankroll management, and, I, and I've learned this from other players too that do this professionally. At least 10% of your wins should go into something other than poker. At least 10%. Otherwise, that depends on your goals at the current moment. But otherwise, there's no point. No, but it depends on your goals at the current moment because, like for me right now, my wins are going into my bankroll because my goal is to build my bankroll so that I have money to play the bigger buy-ins. Like it's, are you are you expanding your bankroll to be able to play bigger buy-ins consistently? Or are you comfortable with your buy-in level? You're good with that, and then you're sitting there, and then you can take the ten percent. Yeah, but off. See, that's your goal right now. I know. That's so, that's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah, but that's fine. So you have a goal in mind, right? But your goal is to get to bigger buy-ins, right? Well, what happens when you bank one of those bigger buy-in tournaments? What are you going to do? I, then I take. Well, it depends on what my goal is at that point. If I decide I want to continue to expand the, my buy-in level, then I'm going to keep most of that in the bankroll. Yeah. But also, a portion of that is going to go to, uh, you know, I've actually had a lot of conversations with Netta about this because she's like my financial coach, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like, when you when you have a big bank like that, like, part of it can go into what a savings account, like a savings account, and essentially you pay yourself from that a savings yeah. account yeah, for the next, yeah, yeah. like, six yeah, months you're trying or whatever. to set yourself up. Yeah. yeah. And so... I mean, there's a lot of different avenues, but, like, if you're talking about, you know, I won a $600 tournament for 92K, or I got second for 92K, but I'm playing $600 tournaments, so, like, that's 150 buy-ins. 92K is 152, 150 buy-ins at, at 600. Yeah, but are you only playing $600 buy-ins? No, I was, going, I was playing more. That's my point, is that I didn't have enough of a role at that point on top of the role and the travel expenses to yeah to i don't know i just that. i just equated to like i mean i'm working for money and all the money i make goes into the bills i pay right i don't have any time to enjoy any of my money and so trying to equate that to playing online poker and making <laughs> lump sums of money you know he could pay his bills off with that 15k for the next three or four months and then he can just enjoy some of that. That's all. Like you have to. I, I don't know. For me, for me, if I hit something like that, I just I would have to enjoy it. I'd have to enjoy something. Whether it whether it be buy something that I wanted, you know, that I couldn't afford before, yeah. or for me. But 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 my enjoyment now is is traveling because I've done it and I miss it and I want to do it again. Or just going yeah. on a vacation. I haven't been able to go on a vacation in years because yeah. I just haven't had the extra money to do that. I don't know. I mean, good for him. I applaud him. Like, what he's doing is incredible, and that's great for him. And anybody that's listening or whatever, if you're in the same situation, don't don't think I'm knocking what you guys do for a living. I think it's incredible that you guys can be able to, to make money to sustain yourself doing a game that you can go anywhere and play, you know? That's the reason why I started in this in this business, and that's another reason why I got familiar with bartending is that I can take these anywhere I want to go. Yeah. And like I said, I turned my life into my business, and that's the business I got in. And I've literally traveled the world doing it, and I would love for other people to be able to experience that. And if, yeah, you, have an, if you have a way to do that, which online poker seems like a really legit way to do that, then do it. Just do it, you know? Yeah, so all of, you know, as I kind of went like devil's advocate sort of argument there when when we went into that. But I also, like, I agree. That was my original plan when I first started streaming and playing poker was to be able to travel and do that because I could do it from anywhere, right? Yeah. And still maybe, like, what I end up doing in the yeah. long run, like, I'd like to do that. But but also on the flip side, I can see, like, if you guys are into live poker, I mean, Houston 
right now is the mecca of live poker, it seems. And, and uh, yeah, it oh, drew yeah. me in. I mean, I'm saying, like, it draws people in. And, like, if you get set here and there's so much money to be made here and just in other places, too. Yeah. Like, Oh, yeah. I mean, you've seen me a lot here recently. Th this, but th I honestly, this is probably the mecca of, of live poker right now. Yeah, in, in this In this point of time, this is where this is where it's at. And so if you guys are listening and you're not from Houston, get to Houston. 4801 Westheimer, get down here and see what's up. 4801? 7801. <laughs> Sorry, 7801 Westheimer, Wait, get down here and what see what's up. What was he just advertising? What's, see what's up. Like, there's, there's a lot of potential down here. All right, I'll get off my soapbox. Let's get back. No, we did it. We did it. Let's that get was, back that was a good conversation. Yeah. We got to start a podcast. Oh, Dom's talking about Cherokee. They have like tournaments That's a good place. That's where I worked. He said it's the best poker room. Guess who Guess who helped put that poker room in? Not you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, it was my poker room for a while. <coughs> All right, so we have a little a little treat here, and I've just been informed that these are from the Mister Brett McCormick himself. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate Called you, buddy. Up, bought us a shot. Thank Cheers, you, my man. Appreciate you. Hey, action tracker. <laughs> Clock. <laughs> That's another nickname. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I'm calling him that from now on. Always. <laughs> I said no more Vegas bombs. I Damn think it. that's what that was. It was 100%. Cheers, Brett. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. <clears throat> I think we're all. Uh, yeah, that was a. That was a hefty one. It was a little different. <laughs> but thanks anyway. Appreciate you, buddy. Yo, yeah. Anybody else out there listening? Feel free. <laughs> no, not tonight. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> uh, Ahmed with the three in the window. Hits his trips. Jeremy hit a 10 on the turn. It's potential danger. It does give him a little more outs, though. The Jeremy bets 100. Ahmed is going to raise here. Looks like 500. Oh, excuse me. Raise to 600. There was like one outlier, one probably person. like two percent. Yeah. <laughs> no, from St. Thomas, it literally was yeah. like. Three it's gonna put Jeremy all in. I don't, I don't think he can make this call here. That might not be where you're going, buddy. They get the worst financial aid package. <laughs> Texas has great schools, man. Like A&M and UT are very good schools. Brush for time, please. Table five. Push it on A&M or UT. They were giving me like. What? He did make the call. They're going to run it twice. Wow. Ahmad's threes are going to hold up. He's got a boat on the bottom and a set of threes on the top. It's going to take him down. Jeremy. GG's, Jeremy. GG's just ran into it right there.
Rush on five. So as you can see, we uh, we slowly we slowly attempted to add numbers to the names. So half the names. It takes a second. We're just doing it in between. So half the names are going to have the seat numbers in front of them. The other half are not. As you can see, Charles there in seat two. <laughs> Three hearts on the flop. A couple of hearts for Sebastian and Charles there. Sebastian also with the top pair. We've got numbers on half the names. We slowly work towards. <laughs> I see that. I see that. I told him to, to start doing it for the last 20 minutes of the stream. <laughs> oh. We'll get it, man. We'll get it. We'll, we'll start doing that from now on, I guess. Yeah, I. so I actually wasn't in charge of – well, I was in charge, but I, I had Steve. He was the dealer in the box at the beginning of the stream. I told him to put the names and stack sizes in, so I didn't think about it until later. It's unfortunate that it's not automatic. It can be automatic, but we have too many. Uh, I've said this before. We have ten spots for cards reading and only nine seats at the table. So yeah, with nine seats is new though. It used to only be eight seats at the table. Here we fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy I had to work that in. There that was me. actually really well done. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Although you're extremely incorrect. I am not, man. Dude, no, I am we're not, not going to get correct. into this. I am not incorrect. How much money would you like to put on it? Because I'll, whatever you want. Because I've dude, dealt this ten thousand dollars. I've dealt this table. I don't care. And it was eight max. I don't care. I've dealt it. In and it was eight max. No. Yes. 
the last time because here's the thing whenever uh reese was like in charge of putting the game together see this is the uh this is the basis for alex's bad mood all stream <laughs> It was is, kind of the is start, this, wasn't is it? This conversation <laughs> right here. They think they think it's been eight max. It's it literally started out. it started no, out as eight max. No, it it's it. Okay, I, I'll give you that. It did before but you took over. The state. I mean, after you. took no, over. No, no, no. The yeah. statement that I said was yeah. when I took over. Yeah, but it was eight max. No. Yeah. No. Nope. Because I was supposed to be back here one day nope. and I had to deal it, and it was eight max. No. Nope. Oh, absolutely. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. yeah. yeah, this is this this guys. This is a insight into this marriage uh, right here. Here we go. This is the beginning. This is how. This is this is, this is the start of uh, <laughs> Alex's bad mood. Is this conversation yeah. right now? And I was in a bad that mood also earlier, feeds, according to Danny. That I also feeds early. into his, his he can't be wrong statements he's been making all. I mean, I've never been wrong in my life. I don't know. Is that he is wrong about this and he can't admit it. Oh, looks like we got a guest commentator, the action tracker himself, Boynal. Buzz, a.k.a. Clock, <laughs> a.k.a. Colin Stacks. Oh, <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> Not much. Just, just, just got done action tracking, taking a little break. Well, I guess that's a little hint, guys, that uh, – the stream is winding up here, about 20 minutes. Oh, my bad. No, it's all right. We, we I mean, cut it at 12 anyway. Yeah, you're right. How you been? I've been good, man. I've been good. Hanging in there. Chilling, chilling, hanging in there. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, but what? So hypothetically, let's say you make it 800. And, he and then he reships it. You told? You can't ever fold. No, not, not fold Missed what they're trying to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I, don't know, I was trying to, trying to listen. Of what you did, I think. Well, the more I thought, think about it too. Like, since I re raised, like, re like, I pre bet that pot. You can put me on Ace King. Mm -hmm. You can put me, or you have the King. Put me on Ace King. Small, ace, big. Ace anything. I think I might play that with Jax. Why does it say my balance is? Paul Summers, yeah, we checked the chat. Oh, Absolutely. I can definitely concur that the chat is always checked. It's right there, right in the front of the screen. Yeah, we encourage chat messages, actually. Believe it or not, it helps out more than you think. It does. It gives us something to talk about. Outside of hands and raises and poker. Yeah. Thanks, man. You really. Could, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. There you go, Dom. That's with, that's what I do. Dom with a flop, flops, <coughs> jacks. Lucas with a gut shot. That'd be nasty. Man. Paul, you played one three there today earlier for six hours. Nice. Good set. Was it a good session, Paul? Heads up. Ooh, the eight. Mm. Oh, now I remember this hand. Dom leads out with 125 with his trip jacks here. I remember. Lucas taking, taking his time like he normally does to see if he makes a call here. I like I like how Lucas does, man. Patience, man. That's hard to find on a poker table nowadays. Every decision is is like this, and that's how it should be. Consistency. You never know. Given, Best part about it. Giving Dom the death stare here. <laughs> yeah, there's a shout out, Paul. Thank you. There's a shout out for Lucas as we speak. Yeah, I like I like how Lucas plays. He's. He's very he's very sneaky, but he's very quiet about it too. It's it's a dangerous combination. Very much so. That's how I quiet, sneaky, and patient. <laughs> That's what I try to be. <laughs> Don's gonna take this down. Keyword is try. Oh, 
Midday Wednesday is tough to play. Sharks in the water. <laughs> I guess I can see some truth to that. Middle of the week. Ain't nobody really playing poker that's going to be recreational. Unless you do it a lot. Well, Paul, thanks for hanging out on Wednesdays, man. I hope you come back. Check us out here at 7801 Westheimer. Prime <laughs> Social is where it's at. I got on my soapbox a little earlier and was talking about the mecca of poker is probably here in Houston, but you should come check us out here at Prime Social. You know, I was listening to y'all talk about that, and I was I was agreeing with with y'all in my head on my own. Even though I haven't really played much of anywhere else. I mean, like, outside the state, but I hear a lot of people talk, and most of it's about the same about Houston when it comes to poker. Just how different it is compared to everywhere else. A lot of action. It's always a positive difference, though. It's never rarely a negative difference in comparison to other places. Paul Summers, yes, come on, get on that live stream every Wednesday night now. Every Wednesday, uh, the game starts at 7, live stream kicks off at 7.30. It's always 5-5 five, five live, uh, $500 min bet, two, or min buy-in, $2,000 max buy-in. After the first hour, you can match the high stack at the table. So every Wednesday night, buddy, come on down. Give it a shot. You ever watch Prices Right? Yeah. Wait, come on down. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was about to say, make sure I'm talking about the, the right <laughs> show here. Paul Summers. Uh, come he, on he agrees, down. He agrees with the player. He played over all over the country, and Houston action is the best. It really is. I mean, I've, I mean I'm not trying to flex on anybody, but I've dealt poker all over the world. And Houston, I don't know. It brought me down here. So there's something about it. And I – there we're – it's kind of in a limbo right now, but uh, I think things on the horizon, I think it's going to get a little better in Houston, if that's even possible. That's so different. stay tuned, I guess, is what we got to say. And we'll see what happens. I agree. Sebastian and Ahmad here hit middle pair. Ahmad with a better kicker. Bobby with ace three offsuit. Let's see what he does here. He calls a fifty dollar bet. Is he setting up a move for later? I like that call. Like the raised rail. The eights? Yeah, Sebastian that, that, that and Ahmad both. For both of them. Well Sebastian picks up a straight draw here. Ahmad picks up a flush draw. Excuse me, a flush draw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you'll have a two. Oh, Bobby gets to see a free car. <laughs> the flush gets there. The flush does get there. Ahmad completes his flush. He's gonna, that was a good check he's got on the, the turn check right mark. there. Yeah, he set him up. Let's see if he, uh... Oh, my gosh. He set the trap. Let's see if he... Let's see if Ahmad... Oh, that's a... Just should have raised right there. there. That should have been a raise. That's the third nut she got there. He's going to win, but that should have been a raise. Paul Summers, um, there's just there's just things going on uh, above uh, <coughs> above the game that could positively affect the game. Uh, I'm trying not. To, I'm trying to answer you and be as vague as I can. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. No, he's buying the budget. That's one of those questions where I would reply that's above my pay grade to be able to answer that. It's one of those things to where well, it's I'm not a, just talking about the room. I'm talking about Houston yeah, poker. No. Yeah, that's, what, that's uh, what I'm talking about. In general. I'm, I'm a, I, ho I, I would really hope that. St discussions and that we, decisions that are being made. That 78 or 1 Westheimer benefits from it, which I think we will. Um, but again, yeah, just uh, stay tuned, see what happens. Four 
It's good took, catch. It's good took, catch. Good took catch, the, Joe. <laughs> took the 35 back. He tried to. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got to be quicker than that. He tried to crawfish his bet. Joe called him. No, no, Paul. Like I, I don't really <clears throat> have any insider information. I just um, keep my ear to the grind and Who was asking? Um, Mark. I don't know if you're still with us, but uh, we got the seats up there with their names. The action tracker took an initiative and did that for you. Sorry, it took me a little bit of time. I was a little slow at it. I'm do my best to remember to do that at the very beginning. Makes it easier on me too. Just because on my screen we set it for ten seats, and we only really use nine. Actually, the table's like that. And we just got to sit one out. Yeah. Sometimes it gets a little confusing with the top end of the numbers. Charles with queens right here on the button. That's nasty. Raises the forty. That says thirty. Maybe I misread it. Thirty is the bet. Four to the flop. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to be honest, it was happening all night tonight when I was looking at the best that were being made so I can try to prejudge what I'm going to be typing in. And every bet was just one chip smaller or larger than what I thought it was. Yes. Everything, every, every bet looks smaller. Yeah, it's a little different looking at it from this way than looking mm -hmm. at it on the table. Queens get the check mark. Let's see if he takes it down. Mark, yes, absolutely. Uh, we we do listen to any in it, any and all suggestions. Uh, if you have anything to help better us, we'll try to do it. Um, we do appreciate any and all feedback, positive or negative. We'll take them all. We encourage it, in fact. Paul Summers, yes, sir. Uh, we appreciate you hanging out. And, yes, sir. Uh, we thank you for being here today. Sending us messages and being a part of it, too. Uh, we do appreciate chat, commenting, and giving us stuff to talk about or listen to or any of it. Uh, but, yeah, we're, we'll be here next week, too. We're trying to get this every Wednesdays. Uh, the game starts at 7 p.m. The live stream kicks off 30 minutes after. So, if you don't if you don't make it down to Prime Social to play, at least check us out on the stream Wednesday nights, 7:30 to 11:30. Well, 7:30 to midnight. midnight actually. Bobby three bets is Jacks here. Dom with pocket four is gonna make a call. Heads up to the flop. Ooh. Close. <laughs> it's not a bad flop for fours here, but Bobby's great Jackson flop for Bobby there. Yeah, Bobby likes to see it. Unless Bobby bets and Dom folds. If those pocket fours were in any other any of those cars. That's a sneaky hand right there. Oh yeah, I don't like Jacks. I don't like him at all. That's why, because let's say a queen comes on that flop. You know, you never know where you're at. I'm aware. <laughs> like, I've had my fair share of experiences don't, don't with pocket like jacks. jacks. Don't like some have been extremely bad and some extremely good. <laughs> good job, Newman. Yeah. The six of hearts is the burn, guys. That's what the hold up was. It was a. <coughs> oh, what am I doing right now? Card. Yeah, I'm here. Raise. 
Uh, I haven't really played anything lately, so can't say I am. Just kind of been handling some personal things and enjoying time with friends and family. Yeah, you did. You did make a big one recently too. I did. Nice little cash out payday for you. Did you enjoy some of that money? Yes. There yes, you I go. Did. Absolutely. That's. I mean, I'm telling you. Otherwise. What's the point? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Like, you got to enjoy some of it. You don't have to blow it, and I know you're going to you reinvest it back into your game as you should, but you got to enjoy some of that money. I guess I guess the, I was listening to y'all discuss that. I guess it really does just depends on what your mindset is on it. If you're, if you're 100% in this and you're 100% invested, of course, every dollar is going to get re-put back in, but if you're more of a on the recreational side, more to say, even though you like to learn and play the game the best of your ability, you bank a good one, you owe it to yourself to just go have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Take a small percentage and just do something. Do something. Go Especially if it's not very often. Just go out of town. Just do something. Because even if you just do go do something, how much money are you really going to spend without going crazy? Yeah. Or, even, or even just... What, a couple hundred bucks even on if you just go somewhere, tickets? Even if you just go somewhere else to play poker. Like... <laughs> Just go, you know. Ace King here, flops top pair, top top. See some different trees around, around this place. Garage player checks, table five. Fold. Wow, folded ace jack there. How were your holidays? I stayed here. I didn't do. We didn't do a whole lot. Um, me and Alex and Matt and JP and um, Rich went to Brazilian Steakhouse down the street on Christmas Eve. Had lunch oh, yeah. there. Uh, How was Christ that place? It was good. It was really good. Uh, Christmas, I watched and sweat. Um, Connor binking a 15k tournament <laughs> took first place for 15k, $75,000 guarantee. Was that the the online one? Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, was, that's a <laughs> yeah. man. Was like, the dude is the dude's amazing, man. He just is. He's just incredible. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad he's continuing <laughs> on doing well. Yeah, he was in. He was in another one. Another big one today when I had to leave to come here. He was sixth of 25. I don't know how he ended up, but it was another 75k mystery bounty. First oh. place, first place paid over 6k. And Only 25 people in that. That's where he was when I left. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, this is 25 day, remaining. This is day two. Oh yeah, 25 remaining. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. It started started with 74 and. He was 6 of 25 when I left. I don't want to talk about fantasy right now, Brett. <laughs> Brett's picking up It's fantasy. still fresh. It's still fresh. Brett, speaking of fantasy, I'm playing for a trophy in my ESPN league this week. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. I, uh, I'm going to bring that trophy in here, too, if I win it. I made the mistake of ruining a... What you would call semi dream team. Yo, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you broke your team. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Because uh, I was just trying yeah. to trying to learn and. Ill advised trades. Brent, I'm in three Super Bowls. Oh, yeah? How many leagues? It Ten? wasn't. <laughs> you know what, Brett? I don't know if anybody, anybody has a question. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mister. Mister, I'll make it to fuck Super Bowls. Five. Nice. Well done. That's that's good. Three that's out of five. That's awesome. That's pretty good. That is. If I would have made the, if I, made, percentage. if I would have made the playoffs in our league, I would be playing. I would be playing Brent for the championship right now, this week. Well, that would be awesome. It would have been. Yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't make it. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> but you know what? I can say, I beat myself. You did. But I'm disappointed, but I'm not upset. So I learned a lot. And that's, that's all that matters. I'm going to take that into next year. Let's see what Lucas picks up here on the straddle. Uh, I remember this. I, I messed up just a tad bit and had to re-catch up. Oh, yeah. He's mm -hmm. betting. He's betting $20 into a, oh, yeah. a board we can't see. Sebastian hit a nine. That's all I can see right now. Sebastian yep. did hit top pair. There he goes. Robert is gone. <coughs> Dom's gone. Lucas was queen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my apologies on the, the catching the up delay. here. Oh, yeah. okay. The board is not quite right. Lucas takes the pot down. We'll move on. But this was the first year that I was intentionally trying to practice on making trades and looking at players and who's who's doing what on any given week and who's on the rise, who's who's backing up players that are getting hurt and keeping an eye on that. It was fun though. Can you hear me now? There it is. Now we can hear you. That's really loud, isn't it? No. Is that the third mic? I just wanted to say that I'm upset and I don't remember what you said. <laughs> you said a sentence. Never mind. I, I said a lot I, of sentences. You're right. You're not wrong. We got a third mic. I know. Nice. Yes, I can do little. But you have no headset. No, you can't do anything. You know, that's perfect. No. Nope. I can have little cameos I pop like in Bob, every once in a while Bob Barker <laughs> yo yo yeah it does pick up a lot of feedback though feedback like I can hear you like breathing and stuff oh yeah more than normal it's cause it's a condenser and those are dynamic microphones oh okay oh Listen I knew this that this guy knowing stuff come on you didn't know that I did not Robert Con with three queens condensers oh, oh Robert makes a boat oh <laughs> condensers are just more more uh Sensitive? That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> You're welcome. Robert yeah. 90. Now you can say you never get you get everything right. Because I wasn't right. You were right. I know. I was also right. I just wasn't there yet. If you were right, you would have said it in the first place. But I was. I, uh, uh, no, yeah, I'm right. I you wasn't there yet. I made calls with this deuce. Well, if you put it like that, then I guess. You telepathic telepathically See, told me what you were trying to say, and I just said it for you. Did that word hurt you when you said that out loud? 200? Just a little bit. That looks like 250. Just <laughs> a lot of brain power. Feels bad. I was actually thinking about how I could make this headset work. Nah. Because I use that one. Well, I guess we can make it work if I can use a Bluetooth. That's it. Yeah, I don't actually want to make that one work. All right, ladies and gents, that was the last hand of the night. Oh, no warning, huh? Just come in there and G shut it down, huh? Yo, yeah. Okay. Do I need to give a warning? Is that a thing? Are you upset with me? No. I really do feel like Bob Barker. I'm like trying to hold this as lightly as possible. <laughs> You want to go to Katz's? No. You want to go to IHOP? No. Do you want to go to the strip club? Negative. No. <laughs> yeah, you do. I don't have money. <laughs> what if I pay? I'll think you about it. You buy me a hookah at the strip club and I'll do it. I'll pass. <laughs> That's what I thought. 
Strip clubs are fucking pointless, bro. Brett, have a good night, buddy. Have a good night, Brett. Peace out. Thank you all very much for hanging out. We do appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. We're back next Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Wednesday nights. 7.30. And potentially other nights as well. I have I had a guy. He wants to start a 1.3 regularly on stream, which I think could be okay. What night? I haven't decided. We can discuss. Tuesday. Why? When else are you going to do it? No. There's there's six other nights of the week. Yeah, but we move we move this game off of a. No, I know we're not doing reason. we're not doing Friday or Saturday. That's definitely not okay. happening. Touche. That kind of leaves but us every, down to Monday. I think every other night would be uh, available. Yes, essentially. Thank you all for hanging out. We appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. GGs, appreciate y'all playing. Come check us out down here at seventy eight hundred one Westheimer Prime Social. See Yo, what's going on. Yeah, we got. One three hold 'em. I'm still not used to saying that. One three no limit hold 'em. One two five pot limit Omaha. L O. We have a pool table that you can challenge me and Alex on. Well. And a bar that you can challenge, challenge me, me and, and drinking. Alex. <laughs> if you'd like to. Happy hour every I'm, day. I'm from a little four upset you didn't. Till nine. Oh, you've already tried and like no, wasn't even close. They can still challenge me though. Maybe they need a lesser opponent. Sure. And then whenever you challenge them, then then I'll I'll take you on after. Yeah. Happy hour every day here from four to nine. Drink specials, the whole time. Happy our happy hour lasts five hours. That's crazy. Five hours. My name's Alex Optional. <laughs> I'm Danny, and that's Stacks. No, Stacks. Action Buzz. Tracker. Action Tracker. <laughs> <laughs> take your pick. Appreciate Thanks y'all for hanging out, guys. Y'all have a good one. Thank y'all. Happy holidays.